All right. It's been a little while since we had one of these. I mean, we did. Uh, we mean doing a stream or just or right. just yeah, uh, sure. AI stuff? Both. <laughs> We've been doing some uh, AI dungeon, novel AI, but the last, I don't remember the last time we did something else. It was probably MuseNet, the music yeah. extender thing. That was, a, that was all right. Um, this falls into I, the other category, and it's been going around the internet for what, a couple months now. It was Dolly yeah, Mini. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a uh, AI uh, image generation program, uh, which uh, you, you enter a, a words, and then an image pops out. It generates images based on prompts, and uh, I boy, you, you, Vinny has done like pretty much all of the AI, and uh, it's amazing to see the progress over the past like four or five years of how it's far gotta... we've come since what was the first one? Text to Transformer. Oh yeah, Talk to Transformer was the first one, and then that was super uh, rudimentary. A AI Dungeon was the next like big one, and then that crashed and burned once their. Uh... Latitude keeps making dumb decisions with their business model and like uh, UI and stuff. The novel AI was the alternative, and they've been doing all right. There's hollow AI, which I haven't really followed. And then you mentioned something about like a uh, an a open AI like work group thing. I don't know about that. There's the one that we didn't get to that like fuses two concepts together into a piece of writing. So we could still do that in the future. Oh, really? That sounds cool. And I think there was one that uh, it, like, takes input images and, and rearranges them or something. That was going around briefly. But this is, oh, like, man. another step in image AI. Yeah, and this I, one... I don't think we need to explain it, because people have probably seen a lot of these by now. In fact, there's a Dolly 2, which is a bigger, beefier version of this, and that is highly in demand, so it has a wait list. I'm on it. I don't know if we'll get to that one. So we had to settle for Dolly Mini for the time being. I actually do have a couple of uh, Dolly Mini stuff as well, but uh, but oh, you but, can be uh, able to like send it to me or something. Oh, I can send it to you on Discord. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have. I have only. I apparently thought that only two were worth. Uh, were worth. Um, I, I like guess capturing. I guess send them to me. I'll add them to the folder. Cool. I, I guess we can if we have props, we can. Oh, I have more than two. I hold on. Let me. Uh, let me. I'll save. I'll save those for the end if you just want to put them on Discord. Yeah. Duh, duh, duh. But, how, how many of these did I fucking do? Apparently, I was like really busy. With but this. what I did is I went through our old streams and I tried to gather some scenarios that might be good to put through here. Darian also submitted a few, so there are those. Live action, uh... That'll be... So let's get that. to it. Yes, let us let us get to the funny, uh... the funny, uh, Dolly pictures. Woo! So just to... I, I wanted to just kind of test it out at first. Oh. So I just... I put in something very basic to, to see, I, does it know these characters? Can it get them? And it got Lum. Uh -huh. It got a little lum, but I, I think the thing is, I'm noticing that that uh, most of the lums they're mostly all right with the they got the green hair, they got the the bikini, and it's it's the it's the right color um some of the time most of the time it gets the uh, gist of the character like someone who hasn't seen the show maybe has seen images in passing might describe it and come you know, out with one of these designs. This is, like, this is like if you're having a dream about the show, you, you this would be. This would be kind of what you would remember and about Lum, but none of the Atarus look even remotely close. Like the one on top, is the hair is like way too spiky. Uh, the bottom right one looks the the middle right one looks more like Shinji almost. And I noticed that there's some character, a lot of characters, it just doesn't know. For... Middle left looks actually look like Mitaka. Yeah, Coach Mitaka. I think Vinny tried to do Duke Nukem, and it, it just couldn't get Duke Nukem. That's weird. I, I, I have to wonder, like, what... The, it has to be the training data, right? Yeah. The training data they use. One was probably in, in the training data in Ataru Moroboshi. It's should, just maybe too should... obscure. Although there's some yeah. that might surprise, like, what it is able to get. You'd think it would have, like, a spider digging the internet or something, but it's very finicky on what it recognizes and what it doesn't. So Haru next, I tried Ataru and Haruhi. 
because I apparently hadn't learned my lesson. And once again, it got Haruhi. God, why? Ha okay, Haruhi's face looks like a fucking nightmare. Like the middle one especially looks like a creepy pasta. It kind of looks like a. They all look kind of like creepy. Po like what? What's that art style where cubism? Cubist Haruhi. <laughs> I. Why? There's like three pictures of food, or like, I think it's food. I don't know who the the guy in the top left is. A, a lot of them kind of look like Kion, because the obviously one on the top left looks like looks uh, like uh, that one psychic dude with the eye, with their eyes open. I okay. don't know. It looks pretty generic. But this isn't. A, none of these are look like even re remotely close to Ataru. They're all Kion. No. Let's try. Uh, let's try being more specific. Ataru Moroboshi and Haruhi Suzumiya on a date, and no. That didn't okay. change anything. The top left one is not Haruhi. That's uh that's a uh, time travel girl. Uh, uh I mean they got the school backgrounds. The backgrounds look actually sane, but I'll bet it makes like, a difference because the series name is the same as the character name. Oh yeah, because the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. I tried but, putting it, in a bunch of characters. That was the first set I did, just to see what it turned up. Okay. I, I should I, I should have gone like very uh very basic. Hello, in, Saucy. In my... Hey Saucy. Uh so next I tried generating some images of some of our characters. <laughs> this is apparently IRL Walter. Oh. See that the thing, one... none of these none of these look like they they could exist in reality. These are all we, these are all nightmarish. The okay. middle left looks like the most realistic. I feel. Oh yeah, the middle left looks like that hyper realistic old man from Up. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> he looks like that. The one the middle right one. <laughs> that, these are all just like cartoons in real life. <laughs> I think the middle right has the best jowls. The, what is up with the bottom right one? That looks like it looks like two turkey legs are his nose. <laughs> it does look like that. It's so strange. His beady eyes. The bottom middle one. That he, he just looks sad. Uh, the 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 top right one looks like the meanest. Yeah. He looks like a guy. He looks like a guy I wouldn't want to fuck with. Can yeah. you guess who I tried next? Uh, you tried Big Booty Judy next. Yep. Hmm, well that didn't quite work. Is is that just that's just that's just uh gender swapped assy McGee. Let's try being more specific. Full body shot of Big Booty Judy. Now I think the center left might be her. <laughs> that that one is the one that looks the most normal, but what the fuck is up with that rat thing in the middle right? <laughs> <laughs> just saw that. <laughs> that's it's just it's like as if No you want like, you want rat porn? Rat porn? I got rat porn for you. Um, no, actually, actually, uh, I, I don't know what's up with the three-legged woman on the top left, but a lot of these look like they could be... Well, Isn't okay, there a woman, woman with three breasts in Total Recall? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was, like, take a Melinda, she's free. I'm not free, but I'm available, and furls it three breasts. <laughs> what the... Kuroshi, perfect salary, man. Uh, so actually, most of these they aren't too nightmarish. The middle, the the center middle one looks kind of clueless. He looks uh, very stressed out. He's not having a good day. That Kuroshi. Two of these are are obviously a very different style. Like the middle, the top middle one looks like a looks like a seventies animation. Yeah, like, we've got two like clip art Kuroshi. Disney. I yeah, was gonna say the top middle kind of looks like a Russian animation. <laughs> you seen those? Nuki Nuki. Yeah, uh, I know that. Who else we got? SK8, the skate robot. Um, that's just a picture of like skate of like uh, bad skateboard. Okay, this is mechanized skateboard. Can we send these to the you make it we we shred it guys? It's this, you make it, we skate it, guys. Yeah. I don't know if they still do that. The bottom left and the bottom right actually look like real skateboards. I'll bet weird ones. I don't know what the fuck that middle bottom one is. Again, I thought, okay, more specific. SK8, the skate android. 
It's just Android, the Android logo skating. <laughs> okay, too specific. SK8, the humanoid skate robot. That's more like it. That, that's, that's, that's the best we're gonna get. That actually, I mean, yeah, it's it's perfect. It doesn't look fully humanoid like the uh, Tony Hawk ones, but uh, it's the closest. That's his endoskeleton. It looks like, it looks like those uh, Robo Sapien uh, toys from yeah. like the mid two thousands. I can I can see it. All right. So I tried to do these in kind of categories. After our characters, I started on our uh, our, our Mario bits. So the cool. first one I put in was Danger Mario. It's just, uh, just kind of Mario. Mar uh, just Mario. Um, a messed up oh, Mario. Man. Yeah, the eyes aren't quite like aren't quite right for a lot of them. I think the best one's the top right one, and even then, that's that the cheeks aren't right. But it's Mario uh, after a, a bad bee sting. But for the most part, it looks it looks pretty accurate. Like uh, I notice like, it struggles with faces and especially eyes. Yeah, I wonder if uh, if Dolly Two will, will fix that. Dolly but, Two did look uh, much higher quality, so I'm yeah. I'm curious to see if we get a chance at that. Like the eye, like the faces and eyes for a Dolly cr uh, creature is just not right. Goombario, the chosen one. Now it got that it was a Goomba. Yeah, that's it, about it. No, uh, I mean. Okay, the one on the top left looks looks pretty good for a Goomba. For it looks pretty good. The one on the top right is like alternate universe Goomba. Do any um, of these look like chosen ones? Uh, I guess the one with the cape, on the uh, middle right. Middle That's left kind of right. looks like something melted on his head. Yeah, it, it looks like a it looks like a weird ass hat. Uh. Uh, I the one on the bottom uh, right looks sad. Yeah, he kind of looks I, like a Goomba might look in uh, like the Mario RPG manual. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Uh, Mario is struck deaf. <laughs> the top two ones look surprised. <laughs> um, I could only really buy the bottom left one because there's an explosion happening behind him. Also, I get the ears uh, being warped to the Phantom Zone. Uh, that, probably, that would do it, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on with the bottom right one. They they tried to get a Mario background. It kind of looks su new Super Mario Brothers y. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it does, actually. I didn't does put the AI, in. What? Does the, does the AI, like, take backgrounds wholesale, or does it try to recreate them based on what it sees. I don't know. Top left is like 3D world, and top center is sunshine, it looks like. Yeah, the tree isn't quite right, though. Yeah. I notice. I didn't... I, sh I should have put in some, like, uh, Mario cartoon prompts. I didn't. No, oh, well, well, well... That'll be something for... I tried, I tried variations of Rich Luigi and didn't get anything decent until I tried this version. Luigi uh, in a huge mm. pile of coins. Uh, out of these nine pictures, uh, I, I would say charitably, like, most of them look like coins. The ones in the middle left and, and, uh, center, they look more like, uh, weird nuts. Or, like, scales. Honestly, the piles aren't that huge. I was picturing some Scrooge, Madu Scrooge McDuck shit. Oh, then you should have said swimming pool of coins. I, I will say, though, none of the Luigi's look look even close they all look like impressionist uh like versions of luigi none of them are like super accurate except for maybe the top left one that, that's a good word for dolly and dolly mini impressionist yeah I, I i told you that like oh yeah because salvador dolly yeah yeah wario, wario versus, versus the homeowners association uh, i don't see any homeowners association in fact a lot of them he's just there's just two of them yeah. Maybe oh, Wario was the home homeowners association all along. They all they all look ugly, uh which, you know, it well, the one on the top, the one on the top right, the uh left one looks it looks especially demonic. Yeah. The eyes the eyes look horrible. The one on the okay, I will say the one on the middle 
uh, the middle right actually looks super. The face looks pretty good. The the right one. Yeah. Yeah, that one actually is is like a surprisingly good uh, interpretation of it. I mean, there's no mustache, but that's that's pretty intimidating. I like it. Maybe a different prompt. Lorio ruining someone's lawn. Not really doing that. He's, He's just, just kind, kind of, of standing there. I just looked at the bottom right one. What even is that? Lord what even is fucking that? massive? He looks like he looks like he's taking some joy and he's mutating. Yeah, looks like a joy mutant from fucking uh, Lisa. Got massive pecs. Yeah, again with the fucking demonic uh, demonic eyes on the bottom left one. Uh, Waluigi the genie. Uh, it doesn't really seem to want to do like uh, like modifiers. I notice. Yeah. yeah, the AI it just kind of is like, uh, I mean, the top left one is the closest because of the stereotypical genie body morphism. I don't know what the fuck a fishing lure has to do with genies, though. Uh, this is two of the pictures. What the hell? I think top it. I think it has something to do with the syntax. Center. Like there, there's a bit of a learning curve to getting Dolly to do the prompts that you want it to do. I also, not, not only does Luigi has his, have his dick out, it's it's coming out of his ass for some reason. I wasn't gonna the, point it out, but thank you. Yeah, um, I'm trying to see what else. Uh, the bottom right one looks like he, he's in customer service. Yeah, it kind yeah, of looks the, like he's doing tags. the uh, the Kabuki. Yoy! Yeah. Oh man, and, and considering how this uh, this AI works. Um, that could realist. That could be like a, a thing that it took the uh, image from a Kabuki and just kind of uh, imp like had Waluigi on it. Um, still, though, I knew what Waluigi was. All nine of them, you could tell that. Yeah, it's Waluigi. It's fucked up, but it is Waluigi. Mario's vacation is ruined by a flood. Oh, I mean, there's water in most of them. Um. Except for the bottom right one, there's just a bunch of grass and. Bottom right uh, one looks like it's trying to be a, mar a platforming game. Oh yeah, it's like a, a, a dream of a platforming game. And bottom um, left, his head has mutated into a flower. Oh yeah, that's weird. Bottom middle, he's he's become a zombie. He's just zombie Mario. Is that is, is that after the flood? After the water has waned? Is like he, he? It's like those one uh, monsters. That infect you in the Waters of Mars episode of uh, Doctor Who. You just become the fucking water creatures. Rosalina uh, forms an artificial sun. Top left one, spooky. Very spooky. These uh, the empty eye. Uh, middle left is uh, like another alien, a four eyed alien. But like a stark, uh, stark. Uh, face i will say this though the doll dolly they really nailed the dress down yeah like the dress is is like very good it looks awesome it's a solid uh, color so it's hard to fuck up yeah so what, what do you think we uh oh man we should have done garfield see how, how it would fuck up garfield yeah oh we well. can save that for a uh, dolly too i guess start our yeah. new list of prompts hey if you've got any drop them in the comments yeah, I just noticed that uh, out of all those suns, uh, like two of them are blue. Well, though, okay, there's suns in eight out of the nine of them. Most of them are yellow. Uh, one of them is blue, and I don't know what the fuck is up with the one in the middle left. It's just stardust. Yeah. I'm going to have you tell me when to go next so I don't jump the gun. All right, fair enough. Next. Mario, unconscious Mario. behind a 7-Eleven. Okay, um... I can't tell with the bottom right, but all these look like they're in front of a 7-Eleven. Yeah, they do. I guess it would be hard to tell that it was a 7-Eleven otherwise. Yeah. Um. The fuck? The, the one on the top right looks like burger. It looks like just a pile of meat. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one on the bottom left, he's obviously standing in front or inside a 7-Eleven. On the bottom left? I guess it kind of does all... look like he's inside. 
the the Seven Elevens all look like they're from a Pilot Red Sun like animation. And the middle they're, right is just so... not Mario. Yeah, the the one in the middle right is just like a bad Luigi cosplay. Somebody co so he's just it's just a guy with a Luigi hat and a bodysuit. Hello, Eduardo. All right. Uh, next one. Oh, wait, I what? Like, I feel like that one turned out the best. I, I got, like, closer versions of some of them, but I guess they don't make the images bigger. Oh, best well. or, or worst? I don't I know. Can't, I, I, I must have saved it on. for some reason. You saved it because it looked the weirdest, which it does. Professor Frankly is an evil German scientist. Didn't know he was a Goomba. Um, We do get some new evil German scientists, though. Yeah, uh, one on the top left is pretty... The one on the... Which one looks the most uh, realistic? I, I want to say either top, middle, or uh, middle left. I might say bottom left. Other than his hand. I will see... <laughs> this fucking alien hand. <laughs> You'll know there are aliens among us. Oh, oh man. The 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 center one, the center one, the his mouth looks disgusting. Yeah. It it looks like it looks like an animal's asshole. <laughs> and if it weren't for that, that one would win. But I like that one of them is just rendered in black and white. Are, is he getting these from? Is uh, Dolly getting these from films or something? I don't know. I like the bottom right exactly looks like that. That it could be from a house episode. Probably a combination of several image sources. Yeah. Uh, Alright, next one. Big O versus Big Ass. Oh. Uh, it kind of got the Big O art style. This is... Uh, I was about to say, this looks... Uh, this art looks Parisian as fuck. It, it, none of it is exactly Big O. Like, none of these are Roger Smith. It's just the very loose general art style of the show. Yeah, uh... What the fuck? That headless torso to the right of that, that, uh, the top right. That must that, be Big Ass. That's Big Ass. Magnus Von Curve. I don't see any other candidates. Oh, also, man. Big O itself, the robot, is not here. It's just the style of the show is all it got. Our, yeah, I I don't. I don't. This is this is all very muddled. These are these are all just kind of like uh, like you're dreaming. You, like you've seen Big O and you've read like an old like and you've seen like uh, Batman the animated series and you're having a weird fever dream based off of them. Yeah, that's the impression that I get from these. Next one. General Gun Sales, the pro wrestler. Nice. Um, well, not really a lot to go on. I guess this is our best imagination of what he might look like IRL. Love, love the ring with the five ropes on the bottom right. <laughs> we want to make sure these people stay inside the ring. Uh, God, the ropes are all going in weird directions and shit. Uh, that... I love it's like the the bottom guy in the bottom looks looks like a combination of Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, and the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I don't know who his opponent is. Some like trucker hat. Uh, I love that guy uh, on the bottom uh, at bottom center. It's like a a demonic uh, big Van Vader. Yeah. Uh, like the Bigfoot looking dude on the top middle. Um. I love that when you when they do pro wrestlers, it's all old looking like uh, pro wrestlers too. Like not not a single uh, like mid mid twenties uh, indie wrestler or not, like like mid tens indie wrestler among them. Uh, these are these take a little while to generate, Eduardo. So we're not doing them on the fly. These are all uh, generated before the stream. Yeah, if you have like a list of them, just uh, put them down. And we'll take them for next time. Flavio throwing Mario into the sea. Uh, I don't see Flavio. There was no way it was going to get Flavio. But it's rendered water this time. Water in, like, a tree for some reason. 
I feel like the center middle, like, it, the figure is far enough away that you could just use your imagination for someone throwing Mario into the sea. Oh, the center? Yeah. Uh, I wish it that, made them bigger. It looks like a dwarf Mario. It's dwarf Mario. Yeah, it, it's mini Mario. He, he's taking a hit. He's no longer super. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. All right, next one. Jojo Mario. Again, didn't um, really get it. Well, I mean, the bottom... I, no, it didn't get it. It Jojos are, like, kind of... Do you think uh, they're I'll, obscure? Maybe if it was, like, Mario as drawn by a Rocky or something along those lines. I don't think you would even have got that, though. It gets some I'm, of them in Dolly 2. There was, like, a really well-generated Johnny Depp in Jojo. The, the Mario on the on the middle right is just straight vibin'. Yeah, like he uh, do be. Yeah, that's actually the most accurate Mario face ever. Like out of a oh, no, I changed my mind. Middle middle one. That's good Mario face. He's very happy. Happy Mario. Yeah. Uh, all right, next one. Oh, I generated this one. Mario characters on whose line is it anyway? Uh, it got the. It's gotten the background of whose line is it anyway. I don't recognize any of the guys, though. I don't... <laughs> no, Featuring really. Wayne Fuckface! Featuring... <laughs> and... <laughs> and also... Red Rug! It's, it's that kind of thing. It's that, it's that uh, weird dreamlike uh, surreality that you get from, like, really fucked up... The fuck is... Bottom middle. That looks like that looks like uh, that that Marcus. puppet is. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It looks really sus. Um, I, I you know you notice that too, right? That sometimes it just uh, like cuts images out and puts them together side by side. Yeah, I'm seeing wonder, that wonder, a lot. I wonder why it does that. I don't know. Fast. I guess if there's like two subjects and it can't really conflate them well, it just like cuts and pastes and calls it a day. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Alright. What's next? Yoshi hates riding the dolphin taxi. <laughs> Top it's left right, looks a disgruntled. Yeah, that's a very disgruntled Yoshi. The, the other Yoshi with his big eye is like, are you sure you're disgruntled? You know, dolphin uh, taxi is just a brand. You didn't expect this to be actual dolphins. These, I, I don't know why, but these set of images are making me very uncomfortable. It's a, it's it's, a weird style to these ones. It's very disgusting. Uh, yeah. The, 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 you know what, though? These Yoshis look pretty accurate. The one on the bottom right, despite being kind of angry, he has a saddle off. He took a saddle off for some reason. He looks, he looks pretty good. So, I don't want to look at this anymore. Move on. <laughs> Chris Pratt as Mario. It's just it, Chris Pratt and a bunch of Marios. You're like getting a lot of Dolly mini Marios. I like that middle left one. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. It's a baby mouth. I just, I just want to say, uh, there's a lot of really is learning what Mario looks like. These, a lot of these Marios actually look like fucking Mar, like Mario. We're helping Mario it. in the middle. Also, why the fuck is that the most accurate face? It actually, I can see. Yeah, it looks like Chris Pratt. He's making a he's making a weird dirt face, but yeah, that's Chris Pratt. What the? Fuck that's the is face that? he has to make to do the Mario voice. I I, uh, I want to say personal favorite one. I like the uh, style of the bottom left Mario. Yeah, that actually looks like something that could be in a game. I I want that. <laughs> I, I don't still know like why. middle left. It makes me smile. Yeah, it's just, it's so weird. It's like a knockoff Mario. He's got three buttons. I it just does. Uh, middle, yeah, anyway. Uh, middle one, though, is not bad. Jack Black as Bowser. Fuck it, let's Jack do all of them. Uh. Just, the, he I didn't really want to do Jack Black so, so, so well. I feel sorry oh. for him. His face is so... Mangled. Also, uh, what, what's the middle left? Does Bowser have another mouth in his shoulder? 
He looks like he got he, he got like a shotgun implanted in his uh, chest. It kind of uh, top left Jack Black kind of looks more like Popeye. Bottom left Bowser looks like some kind of knockoff Bowser. It it does. It's a Chinese bootleg Bowser. Yeah, and I. Oh God. These uh, Jack Black faces are nightmarish as fuck. These are the worst, like, real-life corruption so far. Well, this and the German scientist was pretty bad. Oh, yeah, the German scientist was awful. I don't know what's going on with the Bowser in the middle, right? I think he's, like... It's like there's the conjoined twin situation. Yeah. All right. Uh, bottom right one looks good, too. Oh, anyway. Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong. Also, didn't it didn't fuse well, but it is at least mostly Donkey Kong. I am in love with the with the middle uh, bottom one. <laughs> Donkey Kong. The bottom middle one. After he walks into a brick wall and doesn't notice. Just also keeps the, on trucking. The center one with those eyes makes him look goofy. I, I kind of like that one. Center left looks very like very lanky-ish. The way these models look is if, uh, is if like, Rare started Donkey Kong on the N64 and they didn't get the design down yet, so these were all just beta Donkey Kongs. Uh, Especially sir, the... during lunch I accidentally sat on the Donkey Kong clay model. Do you think it'll be okay? That's ah, fine, <laughs> just take the pictures. I like how some of them look like ties, but then they look like scarves uh, on, on others. But the one on the top right looks like, like a fucking biker. Almost with the way that the tie turned into a vest. Bottom middle is chadly as shit. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. The, the fucking, the, I love that one. Just ch ch Chad, Donkey Kong. Uh, anyway, next one. All right, next I put in some uh, some from our Smash streams. Oh, whoops. Donkey Kong defend protects a giant cheeseburger. Uh, okay. I don't know what he's protecting it from, but he he has a cheeseburger. The cheeseburger mouth uh, Donkey Kong in the dead center. It That Fucking did fuse weird. those. Yeah, and then you got a cheeseburger coming uh, with an arm coming out holding up another cheeseburger. <laughs> uh... That's like a that's like a, a Dadaist burger ad. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. L middle middle left. Yeah. That that looks like a bad album art I saw recently. Hold on, I'm gonna grab that really quick. <laughs> well, leave it there. Okay. I minimized I minimized it. Uh. Shit. I need to I need to find it. Give me give me a sec. Uh. Do you have any idea the name of it or anything? No, I have to. Oh, I'd have to look up a Brad tasted music stream, but yeah, that looks like a bad album cover I saw recently. I'll show you. Uh, I'll put it in the I'll highlights you, video. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that looks dead on, like like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, no, these all look. I do not. I'm not a fan of all of any of them. These all look muddled as fuck. I remember this next one coming out really well. Sweet, I look forward to it. Joker Joestar and his stand Arsene. Uh, oh, it thinks, oh, it's like, it's like a, okay, this is pretty interesting, because it's like it's blending, uh, JoJo, and then Joker from DC, and then it also knows what Persona is, so. The middle oh, left, man. that is Arsene, and top center as well. Yeah. This one, so it, it, it what... got the JoJo style, though, in this one. As if Joker was actually, uh, was actually, like, a Joe star. Hi, Joker, have a dream. I guess that would be the more uh, more known Joker of the two. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that doesn't look like a Persona Joker. It looks like a DC Joker. But I will say that the one on the bottom right, it almost could be like a like a Iraqi's version of Joker. So it got Arsene just because he doesn't share a name with another character. Yeah. If you uh, if you try to blurt like that, then the then Dolly gets confused. It seems like. All right, what's next? Dragon Quest Hero at Dairy Queen. Oh, uh, these these 
the ones where he's actually he actually shows up look very cursed. Yeah. Yeah. I think I tried uh, Luminary first, but it didn't get that. They look like aliens. They do. I will say, though, Middle Right actually looks like it has an art style. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that one-eyed, uh, like, rock, but... That's the Dairy Queen. That's what she looks like. Holy shit! The, the, you see that that uh, that shake on the on the bottom center? Yeah. That looks delicious. But fuck, it look it, it can make a really good shake. The also, corporations love, have gotten to Dolly Mini. They're using them for advertising. Love that uh, Aztec looking logo on the bottom left. It's as if somebody's taking a picture of their weird ass like uh, milkshake at a with its like weird curved top, to its top heavy cup at like a uh, weird uh, like theme park. Yeah, I think the top left is the one that most encompasses the entirety of the prompt. Oh yeah, that one, the weird ass like face though really kills it. But it does look like it's in a food court. These cups all look really cool, yeah. though. I it's I can't read the language. It's uh, not something that I can comprehend without, like, you know, blowing my brain up. But even Dolly Two doesn't really do English. Just letters yeah. just kind of turn into a jumble. And which is the same in Dreams. Uh, basically, they called it like the Neural Net AI. Uh, they nicknamed it like a Deep Dream AI because it works the same way, like how a like how a human would dream and uh, dream and some two common things dreamers report is that a they can't really read in dreams and uh, like light switches don't work but that's a, a video thing so yeah let's move on wait hold on we go back one 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 more second what the fuck's going on in the middle left one I don't know that looks like what the fuck that okay and I don't want to Hello? Move. You're yeah, breaking up. Oh, no. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound fine now. Okay, I, I don't want to look at the middle left one. Move on from that. That That is fucking terrifying. Banjo and Kazooie at Burger King. Now, no, this seems to have turned... Them, yeah, this seems to have turned them into Burger King kids' t meal toys. Is what this did. Yeah, um... Uh, God. I mean, what, what else is there to say, really? They all look melted. A little bit, little bit melted, yeah. Yeah, they're all horrifying. Move on. That that's Terry Bogart at a Taco Bell. Yes. The, the one on the middle looks surprisingly accurate. Like dead also, center. Yeah, dead center is just is pretty accurate. Um. Uh, it seems like, uh, for the most part, he's e he either looks like a weird, uh, uncanny Pixar character, or he just doesn't have a face. There are a lot of these without faces, yeah. Yeah, uh, I love the that he's actually in the ordering at Taco Bell at the top left one. And he's ha holding, like, this weird cut-off taco thing uh, with, uh, with, like, three shells. <laughs> to tell me how to use the three shells. <laughs> Again, I saved some bigger versions, but they don't come out bigger, so, uh... Wasted effort, I suppose. Okay, here we got the Zelda prompts. Ganondorf dancing the can-can. Now, we didn't get the can-can, but... He do be moving in some of these. You did you click left? Okay, there we go. It's, uh, it, okay. Top left, he's just kind of doing this ha-cha-cha. There are no faces on any of them. They yeah. all look like they all look like weird, uh, weird like hieroglyphic, like uh, ancient, like cave painting kind of things, or like stuff you find on pottery. Of the various Ganondorf prompts I put in, it also has a, a, a knack of drawing him pretty chonk. Yeah, big, uh, big fat Ganon. Yeah, he's usually wider than his Ocarina version. Oh yeah, he's, he's been hitting the gym, been uh, at the. Uh, that Captain Falcon dojo. Bottom right looks like he's about to start dancing Jackson. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Popstar Ganon as, like, an enemy. And, uh... That would be the... 
you know, we, I talked about like a guy dissecting about like which Zelda is the darkest Zelda. That would G G Ganon. That would be like a like a pop star Ganon. That would be the lightest Zelda game. Yeah, they that, had a the, Mario dancing game. If they wanted to, they could get away with a Zelda one. Ganondorf dancing like in that one fucking you just reposted in the wrong neighborhood meme video. Yeah, there was a, I think there was one of the like just dances or something. You could play as Star Wars characters. So you had like fucking oh, yes. Palpatine. You've seen that? I have, and that, that gets me to a point where I wish that they would do, like, a fucking Star Wars racer, but just have the characters just just race. But no, Star Wars people are, like, too serious. They don't want, like, that kind of weird silliness. It's all serious all the time. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Chad Ganondorf. Finally, that we have a face. He's Why is he so green? <laughs> he is very green. <laughs> I think top left, the first one was the is the Chadliest. The one on the bottom left looks very, uh, very Geiger esque. Yeah. The the face it it's it it's, looks melted. Yeah. Uh, middle right looks looks very Wakfu esque. A little bit. He he does kind of look like the, the king of the Shushus, That dude. Yeah. Uh, one on the top. Uh, the top the middle top one. Uh. That looks the most, uh, the most decently good. And he lo he looks like, kind of like Caligula-esque in that one, so that's good. Wait! <laughs> the movie Caligula, <laughs> but starring Ganondorf. Hold on. Hold on. The one on the, the, one on the top left reminds me of Seth, Seth Cezach. Yeah, is that a wrestler? Avatar. No, no, no. It's, he's, a, he's another YouTuber. He's, uh, and I, fortunately, I, I can find him very quickly. Here, let me, uh. You can send it to me later. It it kind of looks halfway to the Pacha meme, the the just right. You there? Hello. I'm not hearing you, Jack. Network. I heard something. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, there we go you again. I was. I got. I sent it to you. That's what. That's what that reminds me of. Like a weird squished version of that. Yeah. You can add it in the highlights. Oh, weird. That one has the bigger. Why did that? See, that's how it displays on the website. I guess it just takes a small image and artificially blows it up. Weird. Yeah, that's that's the one that that looks. <laughs> it's like an, an act. They got an actual actor to play Ganondorf in like some FMV game. Ganondorf shooting magic arrows out of his hand. Uh, I see. I see a couple of bows. It didn't really want to do it. It didn't want to give him like magical projectiles. If you add too many things, it, the AI gets confused. I see. I see. Like, cause. And the bottom left one, he's just, like, doing the fucking, like, come at me bro pose. Well, this is, like, the, the third or fourth version of this prompt that I tried, and it did get better as I got more specific. Oh, this is the best version of it. In fact, I think I did I did a couple of these. <laughs> is there any difference? No, it's the same prompt. This one's got more magic. Yeah, more magic. What the... That bottom middle one was fucking weird. <laughs> It's a very close-up on his face, that one. He looks like uh, he's from a wuxia. It lit also, his, his like, forehead jewel has been uh, adapted as, like, a piece of hair dye. Yeah, hair dye. It's uh, Ganon as, like, some kind of weird uh, protagonist character. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, yeah, pretty. Well, let's move on. Uh, obviously, I, I don't have it because good guy Ganon or good Ganon didn't turn up anything. But, uh, let's try Evil Zelda. Uh, you could have just said Zelda, and this would probably what would have come up anyway. I don't know, some of these look, like, bottom left in particular looks very, uh, corrupted. Yeah, bottom, bottom right looks creepy. Uh, it's, it's using the same purple, uh, mid, I notice, and then the white sleeves. Yeah. So... 
I guess that's fairly kind. Of, that's more Ocarina Zelda. Yeah, also, Ocarina Zelda. I think that's also Bre uh, Link Between Worlds Zelda dresses like that, though. Hmm. I wonder. Oh yeah, because uh, yeah, similar design. I don't think it's actually that purple. I think it. Well, well, anyway, I put this one in twice as well because I, I it gave some interesting outputs. Yeah, these these are all very sinister looking. I I don't like middle one at all. That one, that looks like that a one, Courage the Cowardly Dog jump scare. One hundred twenty eight bits Zelda. Yeah, that that looks fucking disgusting. Let's. Uh... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Link is a surly Link. pirate. He's got the cutlass in the in top left. Yeah. He's on a ship on the bottom right, but what the fuck? Does he, does he have a comma in the in the bottom left one? A comma, like a, or not a K A M A? Uh, one of those, or a It's like uh, one of those things that Valdo has in uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah, it looks like he has that. One of the oh man, that, that's a cute face he has a um, uh, bottom middle. I wonder if I said Toon Link if it would have gotten that. Or if that would have got given us like uh, Smash Brothers tinted results, uh, that would have been. Why the fuck is he holding flowers in the in the middle right one? I guess those are flowers, aren't they? Yeah. Um. I mean, it looks like Link. You can tell it's a. It is supposed to be Link. Bottom right is at least on like a deck of some kind. That's what I was gonna say. He looks like he's on some kind of boat or something. Yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> I don't face. know what he's got though. It looks like he's got the face of a monkey. <laughs> it does, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's... Ganondorf as a fisherman. Just Ganondorf with a bunch of fishing lines. <laughs> That's all I've ever wanted. Oh, they, I really, really wish they would have gone with having a Ganondorf model with like a fisher hat and stuff and is just like talking about fishing. That would have been amazing. It's, Do you and need it any instructions? Because, and it makes sense because the Gerudo... In uh, in Termina, they're all pirates. Yeah, they're so, on the sea. So it would have made I, man, fucking. If it, they didn't have that idea, they should have. It only just occurred to me, to, like the other day, how uh, I guess it would be necessary for the witches to fuse into a giant woman in order to have been Ganondorf's mother, because he's like nine feet tall. He's a giant dude. Giant baby. Giant baby. Ah, oh, giant baby. Uh, I think I put in a variation of this one as well. Ganondorf fishing. I've caught a fish this big. I mean, you can tell it's Ganon. Like the, uh, it does torsos really well. It really does not like faces. It if it can get away with like not having a face. Also, these those fishes are very nightmarish. Except yeah. for the middle left one. That one looks like a fish. It and looks it like also... fishing photos though. Like, like, modify fishing photos? I, I guess. I mean, it, it, as far as the prompts we've seen so far go, I think these Fisher Ganon ones have come out really well. Yeah, it, it, it's, it is, like, pretty good. He was meant to be a fisherman. That's all there is to it. All right, let's move on. A very surly baby. <laughs> middle one does shit. <laughs> That's another baby that walked into a brick wall and walked it off. Just a flat face. You still there, Jack? I think we lost him again for a second. Yeah, you dropped on my end. Oh, that was weird. Uh, I was going to say that the best uh, one of the day, the best face of the day, is the is the center one. Yeah. It's got a mohawk. The face actually looks pretty good. I it think, looks like... I think yeah. that's one of the ones I saved, because it does look like IRL Mallow. Yeah. Come at me. You won't. That's pretty good. Like, that's a great... 
Uh, it nailed it, like a thousand monkeys with a thousand typewriters. That one also looks very surly. He he looks like a he looks like an old like a uh, martial arts grandmaster. <laughs> he does, he reborn looks... into a baby, wakfu yeah, looks... style. Yeah, it's Miyagi. All, All right. right, poke. I got Pokemon prompts. Emperor Palpatine oh, as God. the Pokemon Slow King. Only really kind of got the top middle. I feel with a little Palpatini. Yeah, the robe and stuff. Um, the one on the middle right looks cyber, like a cyber warrior. He does, yes. In fact, I think th this one wasn't good enough, so I put it in a second time. Oh, that's better. That's better. Middle left in particular. <laughs> that yeah, the face. He's just snarling. Uh, the one, the top middle one though. He's got a knife in one hand and magic in the other. He looks like he's about to, like, kill you. That does look like a Pokemon-styled interpretation of Palpatine. Yeah. It is, it's a basically, uh, uh, like, if they do ever do, like, a Pokemon in, like, a space station, this would be the regional variant of, a uh, of, a uh, po of that, uh, that Slow King. Yeah. Be a dark psychic. I got a few of them saved. I wish, I, I guess that one I must have done like a, a straight screenshot of is why it came out better. I should have done that with all these so they'd be a little bit bigger. Yeah, we'll remember that for next time. Muck as the unstoppable juggernaut. Muck is right. And also, I was surprised that this one worked as well as it did. Yeah. I guess it, there's a lot of like comic images for juggernaut. Also, it's muck. It's hard to fuck up muck. It yeah. looks the same. Well, it's I'm not... Just it, Pokemon purple. is massive. I'm more surprised about the Juggernaut. <clears throat> oh, Juggernaut is, is popular. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty decent X-Man character. Yeah. I mean, he, he was a subject of a meme. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. So... Didn't they put that in one of the more recent movies? Yeah, that's. Uh, it wasn't the more recent one. It was the third one, uh, X-Men right. The Last Stand. And I thought that that's where they originated from, but no, they just. That was the first. Uh, that was the first. One of the first uh, instances of a beam ascending. It it it, it achieved. Uh, it achieved. Uh, uh, watching, transcendence. I'm watching Joel streams from like four years ago, and he was just flabbergasted that that was in the movie. <laughs> well, yeah, it was. And, uh, all we gotta do is accept it. Um, yeah, tux Tuxedo Man. Uh, I tried Roserade, and Roserade didn't work, so I had to try Roselia, because I figured that had a little more longevity. It's just him training a bunch of, uh, Roselia and a couple of Impidimps. Yeah. It's just kind of Tuxedo math Mask with Pokemon. Except for the bottom right, he's got like a flower cane, at least. I will say, though, that's a that's a pretty decent Tuxedo Mask. Um, it looks like Tuxedo Mask uh, uh, from the body. Um, of course, we have it. And it, you know what? doesn't have a face. It's just no face, you know, and you know that's, that's fine. That's what the mask is for. Yeah. In fact, it's, this is another one I put in twice. He put on a mask and he, tur and he turned to do the question. All right, go on. It's not much better. No. Top center looks a little abstract in style. Yeah. None of them really look only fused only with... that picture looks abstract. Okay. Bottom right is the only one that kind of looks like it's fused with a Pokemon a little bit. Yeah. It had a really a... time hard time with this merger. Well, it's it's very different. You they got a human very different. And a Pokemon. You, unless you're, like, trying to make, like, a human... Uh, Bunnery like a crossbreed. It's not really gonna work out. All right, what's next? I have to put it, put that in for next time. <laughs> Usagi and Bunnery. Pokemon trainer joins Team Rocket. That's that's generic enough that uh, I mean, okay, they're not wearing black because it's not game Team Rocket. It immediately went to the anime Team Rocket. That is one fucked up Pikachu in the middle left. Yeah, <laughs> it's it is hypnotized as shit. Uh, that top bottom left bottom uh, left one looks like Dawn, kind of. I think top uh, left is the most accurate because it look is. 
I say that, it's got like a hat, but the hat is a Pokemon? The hat looks... Well, well I was going to say the midriff. I don't know why Ash would like suddenly decide, yeah, I'm going to show off my midriff. Oh, why do you I'm assume it's fuck. Ash? The hairstyle, the hat, the... The Pikachu to the right. Yeah. What I assume to be Darkrai, uh, or something, uh, like, off, off, well, just off frame. Uh. Alright, moving yeah. on with our, uh, Gen 8 Pokemon. Okay. Wednesday Adams in the Matrix. See, now this, I was hoping that it would make her, like, dressed as a Matrix character, but it really didn't. It's just, it's just taking, uh, taking her, giving, like, background shots of the Matrix and just adding a green tent. That's about it. That's all it did. So I tried middle, again. Middle left one actually looks, looks, uh, like, the best looking. That's not saying much. It's very uncanny bottom, valley. It looks like bottom, Polar Express CG. Bottom middle one looks like it's straight out of the PS1. Yeah. PlayStation 1. So I tried right. again. I got a little more specific. Wednesday Adams dressed like Neo. Not much better. Uh, she's still... What the fuck? A lot of them are like Halloween costumes. Yeah, it's just... It just is like taking uh, Wednesday Adams and then just taking like... Like, uh, oh, this is the Wednesday Adams costume. Here's how you can get it. Bottom right's kind of close. Like, it looks like it adapted her for the Matrix a little bit. Bottom middle is way off prompt, but that actually looks like a pretty cool art style. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think this one turned out well, but I saved it because it was funny. Yeah. Buff, Buff. Jockin and Sashomaru. So that that's Jockin. The various buff men next to Sashomaru, that's Jockin now. <laughs> Jockin. Oh, it's his. Oh, you mean harem? I tried uh, so many things to get it to try to recognize Jockin from Inuyasha, but all I ever got were buff Inuyashas. Again, because the name of the series is the same as the name of the character. No, oh, I, I, oh yeah, I remember, like, I love that show, Jockin. No, uh, Inuyasha. If I wrote buff Jockin from Inuyasha, it would just dump Jockin and give me buff Inuyasha. Did you try just Jockin? Uh, yeah, I did. And what just, is it, what it, nothing. It, it did not know who Jockin was. It just wait. It literally just was like I don't know who this who this is. Do another prompt or why well, it just it just gave random images of, of swole men, oh, which is kind of understandable because Jockin is an obscure character. But also, if you Google the word, it's the first result. So I, I really wonder where it gets these sources from. Yeah, I I the training is. I'm wondering what the training data is. I'm curious. Don't think I'll ever know, though. All right. Well, since we're on uh, on anime, let's do a set of uh, Dragon Ball. Okay. Krillin, world's strongest human. Uh. Just kind of looks like various fucked up Krillins. Yeah, I don't understand how how it uh, how it can really just fuck up the face. The bottom right one looks like if somebody designed Krillin's face to look kind of like Nappa's. Yeah. The, the AI got Nappa and Krillin confused. And that's the result. I don't think it's the only time it does that. I think that happens in a couple other of these as well. Oh, yeah, I see it. Like, a lot of them. The middle right one looks like like Smug Curlin. Uh, top right one, Happy Curlin. That's pretty deep. The many faces Hon of Curlin. It really doesn't like any kind of symbols, because the uh, Kame House symbol is just, like, it doesn't know what to do. Any kind of characters or lettering just go out the window. Yeah, the art, the uh, backgrounds very accurate though. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm now convinced that it's just ripping them and adding them in. Good old waste. Willy nilly. Yeah. Next one. No. Oh. Kui in another un di another dimension. <laughs> that that's how we came out looking, I guess. Uh, okay, the top right one looks looks very like a mid '90s avant garde music video. Dabba dee dabba uh, die. Middle right looks like it could actually be in a show. Um, the bottom three are just uh, are just different variations on Deoxys. Top right looks like Reboot. Middle right uh, looks like Code Lyoko. Bottom center looks like Maguzi. That's good. That's a very good... Oh, and center good. left looks like Invader Zim. 
middle center. I love that digital troll character in the middle center. That looks like it could be uh, uh, a vaporwave album element. Oh yeah, just uh, just like uh, just like trolls in trolls in cyberspace. That's the name of the album. All right, what's next? Nappa in another dimension. Now, interestingly, it seems to have gotten a lot of the Nappa imagery from the video games, because you see there's, like, health bars in some of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was uh, he was in uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Tenkaichi games. Yeah. Budokai's. He wasn't, he wasn't in a lot of the anime, so it makes sense. He yeah. doesn't e even, like, reappear. Another series of especially fucked up faces. The bottom center is just like a swirl. Uzumaki... Hey, Vegeta, I'm entering the spiral. You gotta join the spiral, too. Bottom left. Hey, cameraman, my face is up here. Yeah, weird des weird chest plate design. Uh, he's, he's wide in the in the middle left one. I guess, I guess video games count as another dimension, right? Yeah, 3D. Let's move on. Yugi in the Shadow Realm. His face is... What the fuck? Okay, middle right and bottom middle look surprisingly accurate. Yeah, other than the eyes. Again, a lot of trouble with the eyes. Yeah, the middle right one, even even counting like the fa that fact, it it looks it looks very much like like a dream. It's very good. Yeah. Middle one, uh, center middle one's not bad either. Middle left one is completely fucked. None of them I, look very Shadow Realm-y, though, so this is one I put in yeah, twice. Yeah, it doesn't know what the fuck a Shadow Realm is. Uh, Oh my god, bottom center. Yeah, none of these are good. The first one was, be was better. Uh, it's having a lot of trouble remembering what the, what the Millennium Necklace is, in fact. Yeah. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be Joey in the background on middle... Uh, left? <laughs> There's another Yugi in the background. <laughs> Two Yugis. It's been doing that with the Mario prompts as well. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, uh, top right uh, looks like uh, it's got a severe case of Innsmoth look. Like it's turning into he's turning into a fish man. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that was a brief distraction because another dimension Shadow Realm, same thing basically. Yeah. Krillin beats up Nappa. By beats up, you mean fuse? Yes. Because it seems like they're. It seems like the AI is like, wait, these are the same character. You, you, are you trying to con like convince me otherwise? You're messing with me. Yeah, it's like it's like if uh, Nappa body surfed in into uh, Krillin using the law method of soul swapping. He would make that kind of face. Bottom center almost looks like the Silver Surfer. Got like yeah. a weird slime Krillin clone. That's actually my favorite one, because that's the closest that, that comes to actually looking like a face. Also, most of the Krillins are wearing Saiyan armor. Yeah, because he, he body surfed into them. Yeah. I mentioned that. Alright. Master Roshi beats up Nappa. <laughs> and now these are two are fused. God damn. I love the bottom center. Especially the left person on the bottom center. It's <laughs> Roshi Nappa. <laughs> it's great. Oh my god. Yeah, these are these are all these are all good. It, I, I, it got Master Roshi really well. I should put him in with some other prompt cause, or characters. Cause, cause, cause he doesn't have he has sunglasses. It, like the AI doesn't need to do eyes, it just needs to do sunglasses. That's true. Although it seems at center left it seems to have tried to make the sunglasses into eyes. And top left as well. Oh yeah. That just it just didn't seem to wanna uh, do that properly, but for the most part, yeah, it seems to have better luck with sunglasses. I like the effect on the bottom uh, middle one because it looks. It seems like he's wearing these cool, like, silvered uh, goggles. It looks like something for Luca would wear. Yeah. All right. Next. Yeah. Next. Master Roshi defeats Broly. Uh. They look more like they're bros than they are fighting. And another fusion in the bottom left, Roshi Broly. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, it looks like he's. It looks like Master Roshi is becoming Corin. I, I guess, yeah. The, like the top just, left, middle, and middle right all look like a series of weird Junji Ito transformative images. 
Yeah. God. That should be... These all should be accompanied with the fucking, uh, text, uh, thing. Kill me. I felt like this one was the closest, because maybe he just, like, knocked him out and is walking away. And then he punched a hole in his mouth. Look at that <laughs> shit. Yeah, that, that Roshi is pretty good. Uh... All right, what's next? All right. Next is just an assortment of... Uh, oh, whoop. Don't want to do, do that. that. Assortment well, I mean, of some of our other games. Lan Hikari gives a TED Talk. Not Lan Hikari, some Japanese dude. It couldn't get Lan Hikari as much as I tried. It it couldn't even get TED Talk. Like, it's... Well, it got the gist of it. It it doesn't do um, text. Yeah, it doesn't. It, I'm, so, I'm so shocked that it doesn't really even like know what what letters are it's like, like it, there's it, an e over there but it's like it it took images of the ted talk stage and then intentionally muff, muffled up the images or the tech the text yeah uh, is it you think it's a copyright thing i don't know if it designed it like that i get i, I guess know. it kind of has to do some learning before it'll be able to uh, form its own proper text. So most of them are wearing suits. One of them seems to be wearing like cargo pants, and the one on the bottom right is, I think, I think uh, the others are Asian. This is, that guy's black. Yeah. Some. Yeah, he's wearing like uh, something completely different. That was disappointing because it severely limited the number of Land Hikari prompts I could put in. Yeah, but well, I mean, he's not famous. Yeah. Not like Mario. All right, what's next? The new Viper the Rapper album. <laughs> I love that, that two of them are just, like, uh, fucking, like, sports cars. I, I guess that must be the name of a car, the Viper. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, the only one that looks like him is the top center. Oh, yeah. It, well, the others are just, like, random other rappers. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, the guy in the, on the middle bottom kind of reminds me of, uh, of, uh, B.I., of, uh, Biggie Smalls yeah. a little bit. And the one on the bottom left looks like Jay-Z. Kind of. Um, I don't know who the rest of these are. They probably don't exist. This rapper does not exist. <laughs> that was one of the image things. This blank does not was, exist. That one was very creepy, though. It was, it, yeah. It was, it was it was good enough that it could actually show you. The guy on the top right looks like he's doing a food review in his car. Yeah, he kind of does. He looks like an old man. Yeah. Or he's like taking a hit off of a jewel. Alright. You <laughs> cowards don't even AI. I love his like smushed up face. Let's okay, let's move on. Crash Bandicoot fused with a drum. Uh, bottom so center appears to be pregnant with a drum. He ate a drum, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. This was something that happened in my Crash One Insane Trilogy streams. It, there was like a glitch where he just got stuck inside a drum forever and soft locked. Top right looks uh, looks decently accurate. Uh, bottom left one kind of reminds me of that that uh, that uh, bootleg Bart eat pant. Uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, the rest of them have are varying degrees of uncanny. I well, okay. The the middle one, the middle top one's uh, smile looks uh, looks uh, it looks okay. The lines aren't like proper, and I don't know what's going on with his hands, but that or what that green thing on top of his head is. But that's that's all right, I guess. Um, the one in the on the middle left. There's, he's not. That boy ain't right. Uh, yeah. No backgrounds in, on on any of them, though. No, very simple backgrounds, if any. Yeah, white with shadows. All right, what's next? Old Crash Bandicoot on a Sunday drive. So, I d as far as I'm aware, there don't exist cars in the Crash Bandicoot games. Like, there's the kart racing games... But there's not like a crash platformer where you'll like walk by a model of a car. So That's these are newly the generated car images. Like it generated 3D cars in the style of Crash Bandicoot. 
it's generated 3D, like old 3D cars too. Not like Crash Bandicoot is old, but like the uh, the cars are old. That I car has so. a face in the middle left. Yeah. Also, the this dead center Crash's face is very different and off putting. Oh. Yeah, no. He looks uh, fused uh, with like Tony the Tiger. Oh, that's uh, that that face is horrifying. I put this one in twice. I tried to get a little more more specific. Uh, elderly Crash Bandicoot on a Sunday drive. They just pictures of old people. It he looks he's just like hanging with the other old people. The dead center one looks like he's fist bumping a lady. The top right one, the AI was like, Oh, you want a car crashing into an elderly person? <laughs> I can't tell what's going on in the center left. Like maybe he's sticking his fist out of the sunroof. It's clear clearly it's a uh, it's an old person having a race with another car, wheelchair versus car. Oh, you're talking about center left, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it can't get the entirety of Crash Bandicoot and also an old person in the same image. No, it, it doesn't know how, it seems like. Uh, yeah, these are all horrifying. Let's move on. Spyro, look at... Where's Nasty Nork? These, these are... Okay, the top uh, right one looks basic as hell, but passable. Um, the rest of them are horrifying. Just butter faces. Oh my god. It has got the, uh, general shape of him down, though. It's got the backgrounds, more or less. Like, it, like, the, like, the colors are mostly on where they're supposed to be. Notice the, the bottom center, uh, the grass is overlaid in front of him. So it's kind of trying to make 3D environments. Is it, or is it, pull I'm still convinced that it's pulling them from somewhere else. Could but be a combination again, of the two, I'm not sure. Because we saw it mess up the TED te the TED Talks text. Yeah, I have no idea. But uh, that was accurate, though, the TED Talk one. Uh, Alright, next one. Spyro as Scrappy-Doo. Speaking okay. of abominations. This is, okay, this is actually kind of impressive. The My favorite ones, um, top middle and top right, uh, kind of get what the prompt is going for. Those are those are uh, pretty good. Middle uh, one just looks pretty goofy. Uh, Top left, was... someone it's like Spyro's wearing a Scrappy Doo costume over his head. Law got to him. <laughs> uh, Trafalgar <laughs> just... Law. And then the bottom right is just a buddy cop movie. Yeah. Uh, art's actually uh, pretty decent. Uh, well, I mean, for a for Dolly, it's uh, it's pretty decent. This um, is one of the not... more impressive ones for sure. Oh yeah, it got the it got the prompt and it and it was like oh you want uh, him as uh, Spyro in particular yeah. Oh man, this is the basic model. They're gonna improve this shit. It is improved. We just don't have access to the improved version yet. Yeah. One day we'll have to get our list of prompts ready. Yep. Next one. How was I supposed to know it was your sister? It was mating season. It knows what Quark is. God. There's like two or three of them where you can see a monkey in the frame. Well, is that what that is supposed to be? I, I guess. I don't know. Monkeys look pretty fucked up in Ratchet and Clank. I Did love that the the one on the bottom left looks the most like, uh, like something out of a game. Yeah. Center left uh, is way too flattering for Quark. I mean, just center, center. Oh. Yeah, that's... It's like he's posing with a monkey, and another monkey's just hiding. <laughs> monkey cuckolding. <laughs> Darian likes the bottom center. I, I, I can't tell what the bottom center is supposed to be. It's just the gist of it. You really have to use your imagination for a lot of these things. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I thought that somebody had a ball gag in the top right one. Maybe. I mean, we don't know what goes on in there. Yeah, next one. Apparently this is what the Hall of Saws looks like. Uh, you should have said buzz saws. That would have been, like, more accurate. But, yeah. It probably just would have been a bunch of buzz saws on the wall. It is generating, like, room. Like, why can't... It looks like... Okay, bottom middle one looks like it's, like, a, an aisle in a store or something. Um, the rest of them... A lot of them look like they're just, like, cabins with, like, a bunch of saws in it. Not a hall. Collections. Just, like a, like, a fucking saw collection cabin. 
top left one is just like something out of like a website. Yeah, this this was a disappointing result, but uh... um, I will say though that hold on, I gotta I gotta look closely. And they're not showing any of the saws in detail, like. Like it's weird, uncanny saws. But they are trying to have variety. Like the the right one isn't just a bunch of clones of the same saw. It's like different types of saws, or like saw chains. All right, next one. Winnie the Pooh, high on pot. Doesn't really it, look that high though. You should have said high on marijuana. That would have probably gotten more. <laughs> he does. He is next to flower pots in some of these. The left one looks like the meme. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I just I just saw the center one. That it looks like Tigger, but it, it also has like a a piece on the top. It's a, it's like it's a Tigger it's, bong. <laughs> tigger bong. The most wonderful thing about my bong is that it's the only one. The poop the poos look kind of fucked up, but it's hard to fuck up poo. He's a very basic design, like color scheme, face. Yeah. Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh is blazed. It sure is. So blazed he grew a third arm in the bottom uh, center one. I probably should have tried marijuana. Yeah, that's fine. So more for specific for the, is, is best for this, for the most part. Yeah, you really gotta just lay out exactly what you want uh, with, the, with Dolly Mini. I don't know why I even saved this one. Captain Skyhawk screaming as he flies into a mountain. Well, okay, top right! <laughs> Stop right, it's great. Ah! <laughs> Wait, bottom right's cool too. He's like, <laughs> oh yeah, he's standing outside the plane somehow. The most obvious green screen in the world. Um, these pla- I, I, why are the planes like the most accurate thing we've seen all stream? It's just pictures of planes. It's pretty. They're also pretty far away in most images. So. Is Dolly is Dolly just like plagiarizing of like other people's work? I just I take Google images and I trace them. Yeah. Uh. No. Uh. Kind of like a. <laughs> Love the top right. Top right. It top it's right. perfectly captures. Th this was a bit that happened off stream. You were watching me play Captain Skyhawk, and I kept dying into the mountain. The the stationary mountain was the most threatening thing in that game. Yeah, uh, I was just and I got pissed off, and I was just not like, the storm of bullets coming at you. The mountainside. You were able to die expertly dodge and weed your way through through bullets, and then and you're just like expert reflexes. And you see a mountain coming at you, and you're just like. <gasps> <laughs> now we have an image for that. Yeah, Skyhawk. That that'll be the that'll be the uh, if you ever stream Captain Skyhawk, that'll be the fucking. Uh, we like, did it. Uh, we almost completed it on two players, one controller. Oh yeah, that's right. Shit. All right. An alien being magically turned into a tree. Oh yeah, that's uh that mad that game of magic. Very I green men aliens for the most part. Honestly, I love all of these. These are all very surreal and and very imaginative. I feel like Dolly Mini would do well with like prompts that uh, that have like very strange prompts because it would give you like really cool imagery like this. Like the bottom like uh, center one that looks really cool. These would be That's... great for like album art or book covers. Oh yeah, this is these are all great album covers. Uh, top right one. Very I good. I like the top. Le top left could be a magic card. Oh uh, yeah, what would you call it? Uh, I don't know. One with the forest. That's okay. Cool. Um, no, I, I love this. is This is my favorite one of. This is my favorite like prop result of all the from of the entire stream. It's not really very slivery, so I tried to be a little more specific again. A yeah, tentacle I, 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 alien being magically turned into a tree. These are really good too. Like. The Dolly really loves fucking trees. Oh man, that that uh, that center uh, top center one, horrifying looking. Ah, oh, but they all look they all look really cool. The uh, Dolly two images I think are much higher resolution as well, so it's not just these little tiles. Although I guess as long as you had the base image, you could uh, go like hire an artist to make a higher res version, right? Or just like do an interpretation of it. Yeah, these are easy enough to trace in color. Yeah, the the backgrounds are pretty good too. Like everything, yeah. This, these are these last two have been pretty good. Well, I can't wait to see the next one be ruined. 
What's the next Again, one? there's kind of a learning experience as I get better used to the program as I go through these. A druid being pestered by rats, gulls, and skeletons. Now, it took druid and decided it would be a medieval painting. I'm not complaining. Or a medieval uh, sketch. Hard to tell, um, like, uh, what is exactly going on in a lot of these. Okay, I, I can zoom in for us. The stream's not going to see the zoom in, but, uh... It's still hard to tell. It's uh, it's fucking, like, a dolly. Um... Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so center one has rat-like creatures. Bottom rat center has yeah. skeletons. I guess there's there's some goals in the I'm, sky. Bottom left, bottom left looks bleak. Looks bleak as hell. It does. There are, there are a lot of skeletons in bottom left. I don't think there are really any that have all three. It's a lot to ask for. That's a lot of details in that prompt. Yeah, it, it, it's just, it's too much. You would probably have to, you probably need to do just one thing. Oh, the zoom in did work. Oh, hey, cool. Frosty the snowman passed out with a joint. It, oh, it knows, it knows what the fuck a snowman is. Why has it got this, it's got like a cigar up its nose on the top left. Joint, joint, oh, you mean cigar? It looks like a joint and then it also, there's just like dog shit. Or something like over there. I don't know. I, I guess it um, makes sense that it couldn't handle a snowman passing out. Because how do you draw a snowman lying on the ground? You just draw a snowman kicked over. Yeah. Um. The the middle one looks like it's uh, it's drinking. It's been drinking. Bit of the old eggnog. Bit of the old eggnog. Uh. Yeah. Minecraft villagers are. Okay, it knows what Minecraft is. It's got it's got an interpretation of the HUD down. Well, I would hope it knows what Minecraft is. It it I like that it went with realistic roller coasters. Yeah, that's uh the proportions are off as as you can see. Oh yeah. Some of them are just like giant compared to the roller coaster. It tried. Like, like they're building like a like a fucking uh, Hot Wheels uh track. Pretty good. Gordon Freeman and Ganondorf in prison. I see. Oh, I like that top. That top right is like Ganondorf in Half Life style. Zoom in. Zoom in on the bottom left one. Uh. The bottom left one. Okay. <laughs> that's fucking. That's fucking Ganon in an HEV suit. It is. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's great. But I guess they do uh, see the zoom in. Well, I, I guess this is helpful then. Yeah. Um. It does look like Half Life. All of these. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can uh, uh, Ganondorf in Half Life style looks very. Um. That looks bizarre. more like Ganondorf in Metal Gear Solid One, the bottom right. Yeah, that's a very PS One era uh, art style. Half Life had more facial definition than that, so. So I noticed that, I, th I think I noticed this one, what did I do? Okay, Break Out of Prison was the second Break version I did. On a story, now. What the f- <laughs> the, the, the Gordon Freeman in the middle left looks, looks like fucking, uh, like Steven Seagal. Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> not like, not like prime Steven Seagal, like fat, out of shape, uh, phoning it in Steven Seagal. Hold on, I just noticed bottom right. Is that like a, a skinnier Ganondorf in hot pants? Re Resonance Cascade breaks open to alternate dimensions. Center right. Like, the background is good, but Gordon Freeman looks like he's straight out of Roblox. <laughs> and also looks like Steven Seagal again. <laughs> uh, in fact, the entire middle row is just Steven Seagal as Gordon Freeman. Yeah, it's our casting. It's like an alternate universe where Steven Seagal gave a fuck about acting. And wasn't, like, bad at it. Alright, next one. John Wick hates coffee and tacos. The fucker with these Vaporwave-esque backgrounds. It didn't really uh, get much of the coffee or tacos in these. He's holding up, like, a, co a coffee... And some of them. I guess he looks mildly displeased. I, I will say, though, that the, that the John Wick faces are, are also fucking horrifying. Yeah, they're pretty Top messed right up. One, 
Top right one looks like he's turning into a walrus. <laughs> Top left is the closest. It, it looks like him after crawling out of a mud puddle. Uh, either top left or middle left, yeah. honestly. Middle left looks pretty close, too. I don't know what the... the some of these backgrounds are horrifying. The background in the center middle one, it like it's like people writhing in covers, except it's on a wall. The fuck kind of club is that? We're on to the uh, me series prompts, if you couldn't tell. Oh, I uh, I I can't tell. It's uh, it's kind of I guess it's kind of delayed. Well, it's just all blends together. Can Pachi and Lena Inverse on a quest? Holy manga! Yeah, I noticed specifically when I put in Kenpachi, it go it goes for the manga a lot. It doesn't do anime Kenpachi. I wonder if the Bleach manga is a lot more popular or something. Um, no, that that uh. As an impressionist is... piece, I like the bottom left one. Yeah, uh, it doesn't remind me of Lena, though. Like, I guess, uh, middle one, I can see the long hair and stuff, but I don't see Lena. I She's got the long hair and the purple outfit. That's about it, I guess. I also can't tell who is Kenpachi. This is all... It's just, like, manga, manga, manga. It's very muddled, yeah. Yeah, it's a very muddled, uh... Like a series of images. I think I put this in. In fact, I think I noticed that whoever had top billing had a little more priority. So this is the Kenpachi and Lena Inverse. Let's try Lena Inverse and Kenpachi on a quest. Uh, and this gave us a little bit more color and a little bit more Lena. Oh, right, cool. I can recognize this Lena now. I mean, it's not It's not even like... It's very fucked up still, but... Bottom yay. center is kind of like chibi Lena. Almost no Kenpachi, though. It's just, like, images loosely based on the... Okay, right center kind of looks like them standing next to each other. Right? Yeah, or are they confronting? It seems like they're confronting uh, Zelos. Yeah. Anyway. Uh? Oh, whoops. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did you close it? Uh, I meant to close the zoom in, and I accidentally closed the thing instead. Oh, no, you should fix it. Do you know where you were? Yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is... As forest elves. Well, uh, Dali decided to, uh, to save you the trouble and just fucking, like, fuse them all into one Ed. Yeah. Except for the times, it looks like... It looks like a, a, they're all homogenized, like, Ed, Ed and Eddie characters. The, most of these only have... To, only one of them has three characters in it. The others are down to just two. The middle left looks like a fusion of Double D and Eddie and Ed and Eddie. Yeah, this is... These, so, these are my Ed OCs. Please don't steal them. Don't worry, we won't. I put this in... This one is one I put in a second time to see to if it did any better. Uh, And not really. No. We got three of them again. It just can't really process that they're now forest elves. Forest elves? What the... I mean, it's making some of their hair green and it's giving them, like, green... I guess because, you know, you think of elves, you think the, of green. Yeah. That's about it. That's the most when we I got. When I think of forest elves, I think of uh, murderous bow-wielding uh, forest dwellers that'll kill you and eat you, but, you know, to each his own. Well, specifically, these are what happened in Metopia. You remember we had the three Eds. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, what's next? Quagmire, Joe, Cleveland, and Hank Hill as royal guards. Now, it got the outfit right. Yeah, they look like uh, look like the palace guards from Britain. That's about it. There's none of them are black. There's no Cleveland. It's they got Quagmire. He's got a very distinctive face shape. That's kind of it. Yeah, I guess I wasn't uh, expecting much from that many names in there. But uh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, very uh, very uh, interesting. I don't care for Family Guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, Joe's not in a wheelchair. Uh, Ganondorf as a lowly peasant. It's just it Ganondorf. Yeah, it doesn't do Ganondorf very well. All of the images it, it likes to return of Ganondorf are these stately, royal-looking things. Ganondorf is so powerful, he's like, you were not giving me as a peasant. Fuck he's, you. I guess this is kind of a little more humble clothing. Like, bottom left, he's just kind of a pudgy guy in, green sh in a green shirt. Or center oh, left. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a very ugly fucking Ganondorf on the bottom left. It kind of just looks like Ganondorf as a Lord of the Rings orc. 
Oh, an Urukai? Yeah. I, don't, I would love to see that. Like, you know, you're playing uh, Shadows of War, and you're going around, and you, and you hear, and you hear, like, him just ramble on about Link and getting the Triforce and stuff, and you're like, what? Have you ever seen gameplay footage of that game? I have. It's got a good system where, like, each, like, orc has, like, that has a name, has, like, personalities, and, like, they can resist, they can, like, survive death, and they talk about, like, you thought you could kill me, well, look at me now. It's, it's fun. All, All right. right, anyway. Now, here's an next. interesting set. We're, we're on to, uh, now I put in some prompts from our other AI streams and various other games that we've done. Waluigi and Broly in a pro wrestling match. Oh, it... <sighs> it got the gist of it. Yeah, I mean, stuff's happening. Uh, I The the ropes are kind of crooked, but you know, that's... Uh... Jack, I think your expectations are too high for a non-sentient machine. <laughs> well, it needs to be sentient, then. I, I like the top left. Yeah, just like they're posing, almost. Uh, Bottom left one looks like it's from another game. Alright, next. Solid Snake versus Frieza. Oh, you mean Solid Snake as Frieza, says the middle one? It does. Anytime you put in two characters, at least some of them are fusions. Saiyan, I have to eliminate your race now. It does. That That is a pretty good fusion of the two in the center. You've. You've Bottom said, left. Uh, you've, just yeah. kind of looks like Snake in Dragon Ball style. It looks like it actually looks like a uh, Snake and Frieza fusion in uh, like Metal Gear Solid art style. Yeah, yeah. The top left kind of looks like a fight between the two POV Snake. Oh yeah, that that is a very good uh, texture on the sneaking suit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, middle uh, top one looks like he just killed him, and he's, like, looking into the sun now. I don't know who the fuck is in the bottom right or how he's behind Frieza. <laughs> is, is that fucking Seth again? Seth Rogen? <laughs> no, Seth C-Snatch, the guy who's, I sent you, the picture I sent you in the Discord, it's just him again, except except he's got radiation burns. He looks like a, like a butt-ugly villager in a Hong Kong movie. Yeah. <laughs> That looks like he looks like a Mad Max character. He does, yeah. That uh, uh, that solid snake in the bottom uh, one, though, that looks like a GameCube era like solid snake. Yeah, this I think yeah. this is one I put in twice. Uh, see if I can get any any more good ones. More fusions, mm, a little bit yeah. of cooler in there. Yeah, I don't I don't like this one as much. Top left really. maybe has something, but they we're getting farther from Frieza. Like the first one, it was definitely Frieza. Yeah, if you go right, I don't even know what the fuck is going on with the top right one. It looks like a robot. Yeah, that's my my <laughs> secret <laughs> secret <laughs> sixth <laughs> form. You know what? It's a it's a Sentai character. Yeah, Sentai Frieza. Yeah. Uh. No. Vash the Stampede with black hair. So this is our uh, stash the it, Vampede. It, it failed uh, four of the. It failed four of the prompts. Uh, yeah. Four of the attempts. Uh, He's he, bottom center. He kind of looks like he dipped his hair in oil. Middle uh, top right looks like it has potential. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's got glasses on. It's really it's hard to make an OC version of a character because I put like bootleg Vash the Stampede and I got bootleg figurines. Is what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the. This is it's all right. I, the one on the left looks like kind of close. Um, other than that, uh, the arrests are kind of just like muddled. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Nice guy though. Yeah. Next. Vegeta versus Krillin at the World Tournament. Also pretty uh, disappointing. Uh, a lot of uh, bottom left is a great fusion. <laughs> yeah. You puny human, we have to fuse now. But but wh why? Why? I need power. You're the world's strongest human, right? I need that extra power boost. Don't you think I've exhausted every other option? <laughs> what? Uh, villain? Yeah, literally called call him villain. 
They have the wall from the tournament in the top left. That's about it as far as yeah, the tournament goes. It seems like he's just like kind of straddling it, and like Curlin's just like in front, like leaning on it, and they're like, "Well, shit, what happens now?" How about this virgin? Uh, no, uh, not really any better. <laughs> Even worse, fusion dead center. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the right one. Why does it's it like want to fuse everyone? Because I don't know. Because that's what the AI does. It's maybe that's I what most people are using the AI for to make weird fusion, fusion characters. I don't think it does that kind of learning thing because it has the training data that it that it's running off of, and I don't think you can really. Inf I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm not sure how it works. Yeah, none of these none of these are uh, particularly uh, good. Let's. Goku fights a clown. You shouldn't have done that. This all these all look fucking horrifying. <laughs> yeah, these well, ones aren't I, great. I don't want to look at this. Whatever the th fuck is in the center one. Uh, okay, there we go. He's, there's a giant clown it, over it's there. A, it's a kaiju clown. It's Clown Harutagarn. Yeah. Um, that's the only good one. It it only got a clown for the top left. I these faces. Those faces are giving me a headache. Let's move on. I. There you go. Death clock death in clock. a world made of cake. This didn't go through. However, we did get some nice looking death clock cakes. Oh, these cakes look awesome, actually. The one on the left, that that looks pretty cool. Uh Yeah, these these look like pretty good cake. Somebody uh somebody fucked up the bottom right cake though. I don't know what that brown stuff is the someone took a bite out of it already these look like cakes you would find at a uh at a night at a nightmare before christmas it's that kind of like tim burton-esque style on them i tried Goth putting cakes. in some other death clock prompts but it didn't get it i i think it finally worked for one of them when i put in metalocalypse okay I, the metal text on these is impressive though oh yeah it it, it got that i think it got like oh metal all right we'll, we can do metal thing in right, fact, let's... I think I put it. Yeah, Metalocalypse Cake World. Oh, there we go. I, I can tell that uh, that they're. Uh, it's just. It's, it's just still just cakes, but at least the dudes are there. Nathan and uh, and Toki are just looking at that cake, going, "Yep, that certainly is cake." And then Toki and uh, Swiss Scar are looking. That cake has my face on it. That cake has my. Uh, and then three of the death clock figures on another cake, and then I, uh, I don't know what's going on with that other one. Are these are, are um, is Murderface fighting Toki for the fucking cake in the top left one? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, just, I want the cake. No, I want the cake. All right, next one. Vegeta in a little pink truck. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh yeah. No, he certainly is violating the laws of physics to be in the truck. He's fucking sticking his head out the front of the truck in the bottom center one. Uh, Don't ask he, how I'm driving. What is it with him just, like, sticking his head out? Of, Why like, is he so large? He's... <laughs> you know what it is? He got a tiny pink truck to make himself feel bigger. Well, you said little. Yeah. If you just said pink truck, it probably would have been better, but it was like, oh, it has to be little. And then it does it does what you told it to do, not what you wanted it to do. Now, when I put in little pink Ford, it was just a bunch of pictures of pink Fords with no Vegeta. Okay. Well, yeah, he's in trucks that are smaller than him, except for the bottom left one. But he's not. Well, he's chilling in like the bed the bed of it. So yeah, yeah. Yu Hawk Show style. Disney animated Sonic the Hedgehog. Um. Certainly is Sonic. Doesn't really look very Disney, does it? No, it's just Sonic. What the right one? The face is all right. I don't know what the bo the fuck's the body's doing. Uh, bottom this? one looks kind of creepy because his eyes are all white. Uh, rest of these look just fucked up. Yeah, I think I put this one in twice as well. Let's see if we can get a better one. Uh, no, not really. Well, except aside from the one eye, the bottom center one looks all right. Yeah. A little bit Disney-ish. Yeah. No, I... I it's still pretty far, these, though. You think you think the trading data for this was stuff from DeviantArt? From, like, bad DeviantArt art? No, we'd be able to tell. I can't tell right now. Okay, next one. Cheers, the video game. Oh my god. 
It's a bar hopping video game. That actually... I like Mario's randomly in the top center one. Top left one looks like it's a fighting game. Uh, <laughs> the cheers, the fighting game. I feel like these. This looks like a fucking weird ass Sega CD game. Top like right looks like a like a shoot a shooter or a rail shooter. It's, it's Assy McGee again. This would totally be like one of those uh, early DOS FMV games. Is Cheers the video game? Oh yeah, this looks FMV as fuck. Oh, bottom right, especially. Yeah. Yeah, it looks weird. Looks weird, fam. Next one. Disney animated Joseph Joestar in Pillar Men. Oh, he knew, he knew what the fuck the Joestars were this time. The, I, the, the poses are good. The that, faces aren't there, but that's to be expected. Top center looks out of the anime. The The rest are figurines for some reason. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't know what to do about that. Um... Fucking Dio doing crotch chopping in the bottom left one with <laughs> he is doing weird that. stick arm with stick legs. Also, that appears to be Jonathan in the top right. And uh, who, who the fuck is that pink hair? Like There's a uh, couple Jonathans. Shirted. Yeah. Pink shirted. I don't know who that is. Yeah. All right, next one. Uh, Disney animated Joseph Joestar. So I removed the Pillar Men, and it got more of the just straight anime style. Uh. So the Pillar Men was turning them into figurines somehow. Yeah, Pillar, Rock, whatever. Um, still not a Disney. No, it's re it's really not very. It's not Disney at all. It's also not good. It's just fucked up, part. JoJo. Yeah. Next one. Ganondorf as a shopkeeper. It's just Ganondorf. He's... He really doesn't know what to do with Ganondorf. <laughs> it can't regal. move him. Regal. I'm regal. I look good no matter what prompt I'm in. I will say that the top uh, center one is just him and, like, Lazy Sunday. Yeah. He's got kind of a beer gut. But otherwise, it's just like, hey, I'm Ganondorf. Here I am. Oh, also, for one of them, it put him in Zelda's outfit for some reason. It's just, it, it, they body swapped. They got Laud and yeah. uh, Gant. Well, better make the best of it. Shop okay, Di I, I tried a different version. Shopkeeper Ganondorf. And didn't really no, change it's much. Just, it's just fucking Ganon. Except, okay, he's wearing Link's outfit in one of these. What, the green tunic? Yeah. That's not enough. Well, he needs to wear the hat. He's got the gloves. He's got, like, the, the white tights. So we got two cosplay Ganondorfs, but neither of them look like shopkeepers. Yeah. That's the thing about this, is that it doesn't really have... The, Dolly doesn't have creative... But on a, Ichigo Kurosaki on a date. No Ganon! Nope, just no Ichigo. Ganondorf. There's a bunch of fucked up Ichigos. And a, Actually... A darker not Ichigo. Not, too, not, of a, not a whole lot of them are too bad. They look uh, like Ichigo. It's yeah. just Ichigo on a date with himself. Bottom left one is kind of, has kind of like a Chad hairstyle, but from the anime, I mean, not like Chad in general. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. And well, he's we just gotta get more himself. specific. He's just kissing himself. Yeah. Except for the bottom one where he's kiss where Gerudo is kissing him. It is really unable to work with Ganondorf. It, it, it hates Ganondorf. Dol Salvador Dali would kill Ganondorf if he could. Or it loves him. It doesn't want to disrespect him by putting him in weird positions or scenarios. Yeah, seems seems about right. Yeah, it's just Ichigo fucking himself. Ichigo, Ichigo getting married to Chad. Um, no Chad. So top left one, some uh, white-haired woman. Uh, middle left, it looks like uh, the subordinate, uh, uh, Roy Mustang subordinate from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Riza Hawkeye. Riza Hawkeye. We did, I didn't. I cursed me. I didn't put any like uh, Western cartoon things in here, like Owl you House did, or anything. Okay, you did Ed and Eddie. Okay, yeah, that's you right. You Apocalypse, so yeah, you did. Uh, I'm sad Ichigo on the on middle right. There's just not a lot here. I think, did I put this one twice? Yeah, I did. I got more specific. Ichigo Kurosaki marries Yasutora Sato. Still no, no Chad. He's I just one of those Ro characters that doesn't get. I see Naraku in Dead Center, and I see Rukia... It's tiny in the right side, in the middle right, 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Just assorted random bleach OCs. Yeah, Ichigo apparently got promoted captain in the top right one. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Oh, manga, return of the manga style, top, uh, top center. Alright, next one. Aggressive cuddling. Aww. I like how it defaulted to cats, and and some of the cats not, don't even look too bad. Like the one on the left, that looks like that looks adorable. It's just cuddling. Uh, There's nothing really aggressive about it. No. Is, is this another one you did again? Uh, I think I only did the, did this one once. I also tried the four-legged fox trot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it generated, like, like accurate images of foxes. <laughs> and <laughs> Two of them are fused on the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's... Gotta have fusions. One. That's a, that's a great image, though. I love that image. Uh, the bottom left uh, fox looks, uh, looks like a fox. The middle, uh... Left one also looks like a fox. I'm I'm more interested in the images of like anthropomorphic book characters than the foxes. Oh yeah, uh, I like that. That's part that was included in the training data, or uh, that it knows what it is. So yeah. that's cool. All right, what's next? Simon Belmont and Dracula as Pokemon. Again, it doesn't really know how to fuse people with Pokemon. No, it's kind. Of, it's probably an experiment that you should uh, abandon and wait till uh, uh, Dolly two. Um, a couple of these have like Simon with Pokemon. Yeah, but not. Uh, I don't even see Dracula as. Oh, that's right. I did put Dracula. Well, this is another one I put in twice. Let's see the second one. That's yeah. just Castlevania characters as a, yeah. uh, in like an art style. It's still got Pokemon, more of them, in fact. But I like how it, how it, it 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 like Dolly constantly tries to like cut the like the faces off, like just gives you body shots, so it doesn't have to do them. Yeah, it uh, it uh, cerebellumed the the Belmonts. If you combined all of these together, you'd have a full Pokemon team for Simon Belmont. Oh yeah, we should. Oh, that that's a prompt. Cerebellum's face. <laughs> Good fucking luck. That'd be great. We gotta do that next one. Goku on a date with Applejack. That that's Applejack. It knows what Applejack is. Um, the top Goku's center looks like a figurine. Goku's face is is uh, unrecognizable. The center one is Applejack discovering Goku on a date with Applejack, and, he's, and she's pissed. Why are there two of her? Also, the uh, center right are they at the World Tournament? A couple of them, they are. Yeah. It's using world tournament images as, like, backgrounds. That's cool. Alright, next one. Shopping for clothes at Tramp Vamp. Nothing noteworthy. I guess that's what Tramp it's Vamp just, looks like. It's, it, it looks like uh, weird, dreamlike images of people shopping at a clothing mall. Looks like, like any other store. It's very disappointing. Yeah, not, no, like, crazy, like, shirts or anything. No shirts with, like, two... It just it just looks like a clothing store. That's impressed. That's actually impressive. Um, it's just stock images. Yeah, they just they just yeah. Hey, you want some free stock images? Use Dolly Mini. Create your free stock images. Next, Next one. Goku in the Matrix. He's <laughs> just. <laughs> oh my god! This, so if you Dolly put in the Matrix, do animation. Sorry. Dolly does not know how to do animation. If you put like, in the Matrix, it just puts the character in front of the, the text and gives it a green tint. Oh, yeah. It's just, oh, well, what, what did you want? Uh, I don't know. Top Center it looked okay from a distance. so accurate. It doesn't know how to do any other fucking text, but you have the Matrix code. Uh, <clears throat> it is cutting and pasting the Matrix code. Jesus Christ. All right. Next one. Goku dressed as Neo. That no. didn't work at all. I'm not doing that. He became no, a just... centaur in the bottom left. That's cool. <laughs> We're on the Punk Hazard arc in One Piece. That's great. I love that arc. You got the Snow Brothers. 
giants that are stealthy and they always make snow puns. It's They're stupid. pretty it's cool pretty... characters. Yeah. Unfortunately, Oda had to put them on I Gotta Goku be specific. Dre Goku dressed as Neo from the Matrix. It still didn't want to do it. It's just got Neo. Wait, is that a of... cosplay? The top left? It tried to make real life Goku. <laughs> what is that face in the center left? <laughs> I am I the hope Goku. of the universe. <laughs> is that Morpheus on the bottom left? I don't know. Love Matrix Code. <laughs> the fucking Matrix Code just dropping down. They look like Halloween costume images. That's what they drew from for real life Goku. Yeah, dressed as gives you the fucking Halloween costume stock images confirmed. Alright, what's next? Yujiro Hanma as an evil spirit. It knows what Yujiro Hanma is. And... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the center center top one. That looks like a like a Japanese scroll. Yeah. Uh <laughs> center middle one is Yujiro after he got punched in the face. And center right is after he got punched in the face again. Uh yeah, these are all just Yujiro Hama getting punched in the face. We got young Yujiro in the bottom left. He's getting punched in the face. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just him just with a squished face. We just Except have to assume that everyone's gonna have a butter face from here on. Yeah, oh it knows what you drew on is. It got the hair right at least. Alright, what's next? Luz Noseda meets Dipper Pines. Hey, you did do do Owl House. I, I think oh, it was like... one prompt. What is that center left one? That doesn't look on model. It's IRL Luz meets Cartoon Dipper. He, he, these none of these look like on okay center one that's a pretty good dipper pines uh With a triforce hat yeah a triforce hat got aviators in the bottom right kind of there's oh, no, a fusion it's, it's like sonic eyes center uh, left is a fusion god i gotta look up some more fusion art when people do fusion art it could be really cool when they do it intentionally yeah yeah, not like what Dolly does. You gotta just just not not have them do two characters because Dolly Mini can't handle it. I'll bet I'll bet Dolly Two will do better. Probably. Uh, Miraculous Ladybug versus the Punisher. Uh, the fuck. That's <laughs> a good of, face. Top right one looks like that X Y dude as the Punisher. He got akumatized as the pu top right. Oh, the yeah, top right. It's just it X does. Yeah, that's X him. And then uh, top left is just the Punisher in the style of the Miraculous Ladybug show with Chloe as Ugh, oh, bottom God. right Butterface. I don't like well, center I don't left like... Butterface. Oh God! I put this one in twice. I think the second one came out better. The top, top right, right looks... actually kind of looks like what he might look like in the style of the show. It's like a, the 90s PC game character, almost. Uh, this, these faces are awful from, like, the to the last two rows. Top left, maybe. I think Yo, top the, right is the closest. The skull is so off-center. Is like he it's holding a, it like a shield? It's like its own character. <laughs> it's Captain the Neo Punisher, Punisher. yeah. Captain Punisher. Alright, next one. The Doom Slayer fights Dracula from Castlevania. Hey, uh, surprise, surprise, uh, low detailed uh, helmet L turns out pretty good. Didn't uh, really get any Castlevania. It's no. kind of all Doom. Yeah, well, he's a force of personality. He already killed him by the time you got here. What a Doom, Doom, guy. Doom guy versus. Yeah. I tried it a little different format, and this gave us some game screenshots. I want to see these. Doom guy versus Castlevania Dracula. That's just what the fuck is Ganondorf doing there? <laughs> Hello. Can't get rid of me. <laughs> and then middle one. That kind of looks like Doom guy in Castlevania. That doesn't look like Doom. That looks like fucking like uh, some kind of dungeon crawler. It could be a side-scrolling section in Castlevania. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm talking about the center one. The, the the left one looks like some weird claymation FMV game. Yeah, like uh, Miss like uh, Mr. Bones, that one uh, weird Sega I, CD I, game. I know Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. 
Next one. That was weird that it did. Goku, Goku fights Emperor Pilaf. Not really. Um, no. Wow, it really shit the bed here. Just I, I nothing Emperor Pilaf. No, I can't tell anything. I, it I was cannot, worth the I attempt, suffer. I suppose. Yeah. Next one. We're almost at the end. All right, then we'll get to mine. Shark Boy the Wrestler. It I just, didn't know who that was. Shark. He, he needed that fucking lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's all just, just the regular shark, the movie Shark Boy. But, yeah. God, I haven't seen that movie ever, so. You don't need to. I don't. No. It doesn't hold up. Nah. Oh, it's damn. on par with the Spy Kids movie, but even a little dumber. Alright. Sacrilege, Next. I know. Akira Toriyama Bowser. Now, this probably would have come out better had I said Bowser in the style of Akira Toriyama. No, it's probably just trying to merge uh, Akira Toriyama's face with that of Bowser's, and it looks like that. It's pretty consistently smushed. Yeah. That's impressive, considering the AI. I don't know. Maybe I'll put that one in Dolly, too. That's what I, I, I had that idea, and I was curious how it might look. Yeah. That, that's a good call. Next one. Hisuka getting agitated. Uh, top left one looks pretty good. Um, bottom, uh, middle one's alright. Rest are, uh... I guess he is kind of agitated. That's his agitated face, so in that case it's perfect in every way. That's some Aizen level smug, bottom center. <laughs> it's a very punchable Hisuka face. Oh, yeah. Devotion is the mind state furthest from understanding. Alright, what's next? Fat cat owns this turf. Well, those are some fat cats. On AstroTurf. It can't even do cat faces right. I guess the closest is uh, is middle left. Yeah. Just just a pancake cat. Yeah. God. I miss I miss cats. I like cats. Maybe maybe my next job I'll work at an animal shelter. Broly versus Kenpachi. The AI does not know who Kenpachi is. Okay, now, well, it got... <laughs> Top right, Kenpachi's in the back. Yeah. Butterface, as y'all always, but... Oh, my. It kind of got these... Kenpachi in Broly's outfit. This run is especially bad because it all looks like just, like, the face is pure muscle. <laughs> it's featureless <laughs> as fuck. Uh, if anyone were to have a face that was pure muscle, it would be Broly. God. You just kind of, you just kind of have to take that after a point. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but as much as as a classic Broly as a place near and dear to my heart, I do like uh, like uh, Tarzan uh, new Broly as well. Because I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. I think most people like the new one better. Oh yeah, because he's got he's got depth. As, uh, so I do like the the idea of just. Like, Broly kicking everyone's ass. Well, Vegeta's like, he's gonna destroy us all! We're doomed! There's nothing we can do! And then... Just the fucking... way the first Broly movie played out was great. It was a, it was great, yeah. Uh, uh, so I tried reversing them, and again, if Kenpachi's got top billing, top billing we get more manga-style images. Yeah. And, yep, uh, it, his face... Is still just like uh, featureless muscle. Oh, well, we got masks. one new Broly, bottom center. Very even less Kenpachi this time, though. Yeah, there's like no Kenpachi anywhere. It's just I Bleach think... manga styled Broly. You, uh, you think it's because I I, I don't know. I I, I, I don't want to guess anymore because I just don't know. What's next? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I so got. Awesome. Sorry, I got more specific. I really wanted to get like a good one. Oh, um. A little more Kenpachi like. Axel. This is a. You add Broly to the mix, then your your chances of having facial features drastically goes down. It's, it's not a high chance to start with, let's be real. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you could tell that the A was trying to do eyes and mouths and, and shit like that, but here it's just nothing. All right. Well, that was all my prompts. I've got a handful. I got like twelve more that Darian put in. So all right. I'll, I'll take a look at those real quick. Okay. Sora in Sonic X. 
Oh, sometimes sometimes it's Sora as Sonic, uh, especially the bottom right one. It's not perfect, but... The joke here being that Sora and Chris Thorndike look very similar. Yeah. So it's it's Sora's outfit. It looks loosely like him. You know what? These images get better the further away you stand from them. Which is kind of... I guess that's what happens with Impressionist art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the... The one on the bottom left is kind of weird, because... It's, it's like 3D well, they all Sora. Look, the one on the top left, it's he's got that weird, like, cartoon nose and mouth. I felt like these yeah. two were the most uh, accurate of what Sora might look like in Sonic X. Okay, what the fuck is going on with his his face on the second one? Well, I, yeah, Butterface is... nerdy as fuck. <laughs> he he kind of looks like the stalker dude from Perfect Blue. And he's got a third eye... But it's on the side of his head. Ah, don't worry about it. He's got Semantics. His Innsmouth look. Alright, next one. Counter that. Chris Thorndike in Kingdom Hearts. Uh. What? It has a harder time. Well, it, it got Chris Thorndike. It didn't get Land Hikari. It didn't get Ataru Moroboshi. But it, it at least got who Chris Thorndike was. You should just put in Land Hikari and see what happened. And. Or yeah. Lanikari Mega Man. I guess I could do that. See if that yeah. goes anywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sneak preview of the next one. He wanted Mario as a Deku scrub, which I saved because this is what it put out. It's <laughs> <laughs> a go, a plus ultra. I may be down now, but I will work to be the ultimate hero. I'll never give up, no What's matter what perk? anyone says about me. What's his uh, perk? Oh, uh, Italian. <laughs> it allows him to jump high, and also it has, it can go into pipes. That's just the name of it, Italian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's a that's a prompt that ended up working well. The faces aren't actually too bad. It's, the bottom left one is pretty good too. Uh, all right, what's next? Dracula shaking hands with Ganondorf. Oh, yeah. Well, Ganon oh, you mean Ganondorf shaking hands with Ganondorf? You can never have too much Ganondorf. <laughs> I, uh, so, I have a story, because, uh, I, this is kind of what this is reminding me of. Uh, I, the game Dynasty Warriors 4 had, like, a, uh, thing where it had, like, an entrance, uh, uh, fucking, uh, like, a, a uh, set like a customizable entrance you could like you can do set different like characters, different characters for different things yeah and well for uh for the for, for just the intro cutscene. and what i did was i set them all to the same character lu Bu, and i and i saved it as lu Bu's ego trip <laughs> and it was had stuff like uh lu Bu dancing sex for lu Bu, and then three lu Bu's fighting lu Bu. it was it was great because what this is really that we could, we could make it for YouTube, Lou Boo's Ego Trip. <laughs> I'm sure somebody did that, but if they didn't, I'll do that. Ganondorf's Ego Trip is what this is. Alright, what is this? Uh, Ganondorf working at Target. Again, oh, hey. only really, like, like kind of the center one looks like Target. And you don't really get a good view of Ganondorf in that one. Yeah, He's got a name rest... tag in bottom center. Yeah, it's just... Ganondorf is such a big personality that all the AI can do is just look and go, "Oh fuck, oh my god!" Red-haired, uh, red-eyed uh, Ganon in top center. It's a Kuma and, dwarf. Uh, and uh, melted face Ganon at the meat department in the top right. Yeah. All right, next one. Oh yep. Yeah. Uh, Sephiroth in Yu Yu Hakusho. I was surprised how this one came out. It yeah, looks it's... like the style of Yu Yu Hakusho. I mean, it makes sense, cause considering that... Uh, actually, I will say that a lot of these seem very Toriyama-esque. You think so? Or like Yu Yu Hakusho-esque. Like, it's got that 90s anime uh I think it's the shading it. that makes it feel Yu Yu to me. Especially the, yeah. the, the center column, the darker ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get that. We also got, like, a phantom mask on the left for some reason. Oh, is that what that was? I thought it was just uh, his face was, cut, was cracking apart. Maybe. Uh, that worked well. That's pretty cool. Good job, Darian. Next one. Let's have a barbecue. 
Oh, now it recognizes Kinpot. Well, it kind of. I say that, but... It recognizes him as a large bleach character having a barbecue. That's about the... Ex well, that bottom think... center is the closest. You think that this, uh, this... That the AI is having trouble with Kinpachi because, uh... Because Taikubo has a tendency to have all his characters have, like, similar faces? No. And that's what it's throwing him off. Uh, he has a very distinctive build and hairstyle. Although, he has two different hairstyles over the course oh, yeah. of the series. Okay, uh, I I don't see this I don't see the scar. I don't see like the the razor teeth. I bet it would have a lot of trouble with Kuratsuchi because his look changes so much. I love the fact that it's got this obviously animated character uh, uh and then you have the re hyper realistic food that he's like eaten. It does at least look like a bleach character at a barbecue. That alone is impressive. Yeah, that's uh that's good. That's uh that's pretty good. Next one. Sanji. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Uh, I I put this in one this one in again. So oh no, I'm sorry. Party. Yeah, that's right. I had to do the opposite. So we had the barbecue. We got to check uh, Kenpachi having a tea party with Yamamoto in the top uh, left there. Is that what it is? I couldn't tell. It it looks like Yamamoto to me. Uh. There's there's no little girls at these tea parties. It's just a, a, a grown up. Of, uh, we're getting a lot of muscle face again. Yeah. No I wonder, features. I, maybe, maybe it does do that if it's less certain about a character's face. Yeah, it's just like, oh, fuck it. Alright, now. Sanji in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> oh! Oh! I was also surprised how well this one turned out. This is kind of cheating because uh, Leon Kennedy already <laughs> looks kind of like Sanji. That's and probably he, he, why he submitted the prompt. He... <laughs> Yeah. The oh my god, I I want to say that the the art style on the middle two that is close to PS one. Yeah. What if it takes just I don't know how I I again I don't know how the AI works I don't want to speculate. Eh, that's all right. Next one. Mega Man in Code Leo. Sorry, Mega Man .exe in Code Lyoko. He said uh, Mega Man in Code Lyoko. I assume that's what he meant because they're both like virtual. But it didn't really get Mega Man.exe. Oh, sorry. It just kind of it. It's a lot of Mega Man and a couple Mega Man X. Top right one does is very off model. It's very off model, but it's also the most Code Lyoko one. Yeah, I get that. Uh, did you zoom in? I can't tell. I think no, I'm I behind didn't. again. Okay. You're on Parsec, aren't you? I am, yeah. Middle right has a Code Lyoko looking character in it. Oh yeah, this is very zoomed out and blurry. Uh, these ones aren't great. So no. I, I put it in a second time without the EXE to see if it changed any. And it got a little more Lyoko. Hey Yumi, you're cosplaying today. Yeah, it's just Yumi no. wearing a middle. Mega Man yeah. helmet. Or a helmet. Oh, I guess odd. I guess it's odd. Middle right, and then oh, it's a, it's a fucking what's his name? Middle left. Oh, my favorite Code Lyoko character, Sloth from the Goonies. Again, uh, it's yeah. it's still all like regular Mega Man though. Not not any EXEs in here. It's fine. Well, you did you did remove dot EXE, so it's just Mega Man. Yeah, that's right. I did. Uh, a couple more. Mayuri Kuritsuchi as the mascot of McDonald's. Uh. As expected, it had a lot of trouble with Kuritsuchi. It just yeah. kind of generated bleach OCs. But I can imagine the Dolly AI looking at the fuck at fucking Kuritsuchi and just being like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Which one of these I guys is it? This is like four different characters, isn't it?" Uh, it did get, like, the McDonald's logo mostly correct, uh, sometimes. Kind of hard like, to mess that up. Yeah. It finally, it finally did a word correctly. Good job, good, good job. What the fuck is up with the middle right one? I don't know. It kind of looks like horrifying. a desert punk character. That is horrifying. Uh, yeah, I, uh, this is gonna haunt my nightmares. Next one. Simon Belmont attending church. 
So I guess it tried to do a realistic Simon Belmont because only real people. It was just using images of real people at church. Yeah, these are all also horrifying as hell. Which is why I tried again with uh, Simon Belmont goes to church and it got a bit closer. A little bit. Still a lot of butterface. Yeah. But it looks like Simon Belmont at least. Just no, yeah. no more church. Bottom right one looks like it's actually from a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like Pretty Simon cool. Simon Belmont in Doom. It's like if you took a Castlevania game and you uh, made it out of like the uh, un like uh, id tech engine, like a Quake or something. The 3D DOS Castlevania game. Yeah. Like if Konami was like, hey, let's get into the PC market in the West. I think I tried this one a third time. Yeah, I did. Hold Simon. on a second. What's up? Okay. Uh, when are you leaving? Bring me something back. Yeah. Sorry about that. You want to mute yourself when that happens? Sorry about that. I thought I, I was covering the mic. I thought it, uh, it worked out like that. I guess not. Um, so I put in a second time. And I got uh, one more set of images for Simon Belmont at church. Because I really wanted to get one of both. That's more 3D like game footage on the top. I guess it assumes that church has this... to be 3D for some reason. I, I'm not complaining. It looks interesting. I guess there's several new images of Simon Belmont. Yeah. Alright. And then our very last prompt that we got. Ayami Kojima illustration of Judge Claude Frollo. Oh. <laughs> okay, the top, the bottom right one is is spooky. It is very it's, spooky. It's oh like yeah. a, a dark Disney universe version of Frollo. Oh yeah. He survived the lava. No, the middle right one is he sur him surviving the lava. Actually, uh, top right one is also him surviving the lava. It um, got Ayami Kojima though. Top uh, top middle one is him as a vampire. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to see? You want to see mine? I'll, I can put, I can uh, drag and drop them into Discord. Uh, hold on. I think I put this one. No, I didn't put this one again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Send yours through Discord. Okay. Uh. I think it'll show the prompts. I use dark mode, so so it'll be like kind of darker. All right, this is the, this is the first one. Oh, I didn't I didn't send it. Give me a sec. There we go. Sorry, it take just an extra second to grab Jax. Oh, why does it gotta say? It's gonna save it as like a Google, as, as a web page. No, there it goes. Okay. So what is this? What's the prompt? Kanata Izumi smoking uh, weed? Yeah. It uh, didn't really... I don't see it up uh, up on the, on my screen. No, I have it on the... I, I just put it on the stream directly. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, it's... Um, she, she, it's looking kind of... Uh, um... It got Bizarre. The, got the style mostly right. Yeah, I, I had a. I think your your faces were all messed up. Mine were actually kind of okay for the most part. I have no idea why that is. I loosened it for you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. Let's see. Next one. How many have you got? I got a few. I got like uh seven. Oh uh, I I I you know how you were saying that it doesn't really know who Ataru Moroboshi is? Yeah, did you get some for him? Yeah, um it yeah, it, it didn't know it, I, I that's something I I ran into uh, on my end as well. I, I don't know who that is, but that certainly is an Ataru Moroboshi. Yeah, it just kind of does random anime characters for him because it doesn't know what else to do. It's generic as fuck is what that is, I guess. Uh, which one is this one? 
Sorry, I'm double checking to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one was great because this one actually worked. I was surprised that this fucking worked. This one is a Taskmaster on Taskmaster. <laughs> Oh, the uh, the British show. Yeah, you watched an episode of that. It was yeah. funny, but it's not something we. It doesn't have a plot, so that's not something we usually watch together. That that is Taskmaster. Yep. Uh. All right, which one was uh, this one? This one was a. Uh... Oh, this one worked out. Worked out like really well. I said animated. It should have said drawn. Honestly, Usa what, but, what? I can't read it. It's too small. Us Usagi Tsukino animated in the style of Junji Ito. Ah, I probably could have guessed that probably from the top right one. Oh yeah, the top right one uh, worked out pretty well. This is where this, these faces. I don't know why. I was having good luck with faces. I like how it shows the meme pose for two of them. Show me the uh, the Sailor oh, Moon yeah. redraw. Um, about that, that was my, that was another prompt I had. Okay. And, uh, I actually, I don't know why my... Sailor Moon redraw challenge? Yeah. Not, it didn't actually end up going too bad. It the got way, the, the pose right for every single one. Yeah. I, call me the AI master because I know how to how to nudge like the AI to get it to do what I want. I'm that good. All right, what's next? Uh, which one is this one? Uh, uh, don't worry about the the text of this one because it ended up uh, it ended up not being a problem. You know I'm gonna read it anyway. I know. The the prop was filthy hentai. Okay, and, and it uh, just all, all anime is hentai after all. We know this. Yeah. Uh, some of the faces were kind of uh, ahigawish. So, is the one in yeah, the bottom right blushing? You got like the nosebleed thing. I can't tell. Maybe. Uh. All right. Uh, next one, the uh, second to last. Actually, I have a couple that are just like single shots. I didn't get like a, a mosaic for those ones. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, I I think those were the best ones out of them. So I'll show, I'll save those for last. I oddly enough, I didn't run into any fusion problems for this next one. Walter White and Goku posing. That seems like two extremely common characters people would put in. Yeah. Uh. It's based uh, like uh, Dolly Mini Walter White. Images are like a meme of them of their own at this point. Yeah, it, it, that's that's what happened. It ended up not being too bad. It, it uh, looks like them, and it yeah. didn't generally make Goku into a weird live action thing. All right, uh, last uh, last mosaic. Uh, this one was I was just going crazy with it, saying, "Okay, can this work?" And uh, this one, the prompt was Super Portal Three Thousand. I, I like I like the tech that it, it decided to create its own tech and it was like, it's like I, think, some weird... I think if you put in like designed by Apple or designed by Tesla that influences the results oh does it yeah shit that's cool uh yeah oh, but you know what like a couple of them the top one the top center and middle center and it's to the bottom center they all look like like weird flesh light contraptions yeah yeah You'd super send your dick to another dimension for Kui to find. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so uh, so let me check what the. I like that any time something goes to another dimension, it just like bonks Kui in the head or something. Yeah. Ow! What the hell? All right, here is uh, here's the first uh, best of. Let's 
Saul Goodman with the Infinity Gauntlet. His face was alright. It's obviously Saul, and... I don't think he's wearing it, but it certainly... That's a fucked up looking Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. And, it's uh, the finally... Infinity Gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet. And finally, this one was amazing. Izumi Konata holding an AK-47. It looks like she's wearing sunglasses and just, like, has a cigarette out of, off her mouth. That definitely is that. It's great. I love it. It. That, I was just like, oh, man, that's the best one out of all of them. It looks like a doodle, like something the Lucky Star artist would have in the, in the, in the side notes. Oh, yeah. And then, some, and then their the, our main artist would find him and then get and then get fired. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna double check to see if I missed any, because I, I might have. Uh, I probably didn't though. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it seems like I got them all. All right. All I'll have left in my uh, folder that I didn't uh, isolate are. Just a bunch of still images from that fucking uh, animated version of uh, Goku meets uh, meets uh, what's her name? Helen Keller. Yeah, Anne Frank. Anne Frank, a classic, obviously. Yeah. Oh god, the fucking Melvin cameo on that do you one think, was great. Do you think we could like uh, illustrate or animate an entire fan fiction with the use of of Dali? Like just. Do <laughs> maybe, maybe not this one, maybe Dolly too, but eventually AI will reach that point, right? That's going to be the images people put in their fan fiction. We won't even need artists anymore. We just get AI computers to do the art for us. That's horrifying. All right. Well, that's our Dolly stream. We got a, a lot of bits out of that. Thank you guys yeah. for watching, and uh, I, I guess we'll see you when we get our Dolly 2 waitlist done. Send or in your prompts. Or when we decide to do something else. E either way, we'll we'll be back. Soon. I'm multiverse is launched. I'm hoping to do that next uh, soon. Yep, that'll be great. All right, see you later, guys.